everybody this is justin wong and we are here at tech showdown and uh i'm here commentating the st pools and it's gonna be crazy because we got vodka um amazing zangief player uh he actually beat me as ceo so it's gonna be a re real treat uh jay pong an amazing bison player who actually destroys me online so we have some tough competition when it comes to st and you know we've just been running retro games all weekend on this channel i believe you just saw third strike uh, i'll be at third strike uh tomorrow for top eight cvs2 as well but now we are here to some some classic street fighter 2 something that you know i feel like we've been playing since the dawn of time before we were i was born no 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 the game came out after i was born before I knew what Street Fighter was. Um, and the fact that people are still finding new tech, it's great. And I think it's going to be a treat because we have a lot of players. Well, I think one of the, the players' favorite to win is uh, Hokuto. Um, he's from Mexico. And then C. Vio, who won last year, is here to defend the reigning Texas Showdown 2022 champ. So, you know, I just love the fact that Retros is here. I mean, a lot of people love it. Tech Showdown is definitely one of the places, the main premier tournaments to play this retro stuff. Um, so if you guys are here, like I said, we are doing ST. But we also did Alpha 2, Vampire Saviors, Third Strike, CVS 2, Marvel 2, and probably maybe other stuff in the future depending on what you guys want. I mean, Tech Showdown is an amazing tournament. Hope you guys are enjoying the stream. Hope you guys come out for next year, because I will be here next year. Um, it's actually crazy. I'm actually uh, myself and the chair. You know, we're homies right here, the chair right here. Um, but I can comment. It's like home, you know. How are you guys doing? You guys doing well? I'm about, I'm, about to, I'm about to log into the chat, actually. Let me see the chat, because I'm actually curious if you guys are talking crap about me. Uh, Texas. Texas. See, I want to see. Well, I think we're just setting up the pools. It's, it's about to start, so don't you worry. Don't you worry. It's gonna start, and we're gonna have lots of great matches for you guys. Super Street Fighter Two Turbo, Texas Shot Takers. Chat. Okay, I see Duck in the chat. What's good, Duck? Why you didn't come out to this tournament? I know you got like 50,000 kids. But still, bring out, bring out the whole family to Texas. Texas is a big place for 50,000 kids like you. Star Ocean, hello, hello. I see Saiyan 2000, Bass Virtuoso. Oh, yeah, Kamalfin is here. That is a treat because that is a person we haven't seen on the scene for a long time. Oh, thank you. I have my phone, but I'll take that too. You got so many kids to support. That's why you got to win these tournaments. You got to win these tournaments, Duck. All right, Rock Array, Reno, what's good? Uh, you guys can hear me very well, right? All right, he just got top eight in King of Fighters. Damn, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, we're just setting up the bracket, so don't you, don't you guys worry. Uh, that it's, it's going to come soon. Like I said, we got some really good good players. Let me, let me pull up the start GG. Volume's good? Thank you, thank you. We got professionals here. Texas Shot Takers are professionals. They know what they're doing. They know it all. Oh, Jay Pong, what are you doing? Why are you in the Twitch chat? You in this tournament. You are in this tournament and you're in the Twitch chat? Come on now. I mean, okay, at least at least subscribe to the channel. You know what I mean? What? Are you playing here? Oh, boss is in this pool too. Oh, I'm I am going to talk so much. So much garbage. <laughs> By the way, boss he, boss wins Alpha 2, right guys? He wins Alpha 2 yesterday. You know, he's he's in he's 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 top eight CVS two. Right, boss, you in top eight CVS two yeah, or later? Oh later he's out. So he pretty much he's top eight CVS two. Uh so he I, I, I have no doubt that he won't make top eight CVS two. What's up, Ozaro ninety one? Uh Boss actually plays ST a little bit. He just comes here and tries to steal American players' money. Um, and he plays old Sagat. Old Sagat is an amazing character. Obviously I play him as well too. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm curious. I, I've never played Boss in this game. I've seen him play Osagat. I know he won uh, ST at East Coast Throwdown. I think East Coast Throwdown was the last American tournament that he came, right? So Boss is out here representing the Cotez and versus T Superstar. T Superstar. Hmm. T Superstar sounds familiar. I'm not going to lie. It sounds like definitely like a fight game name. You know what I mean? Cigar Bob. 
my man Cigar. Old Cigar is low. Thank you, Cigar. I appreciate that. I appreciate it. So that means Z that means Zangief must be broken. Okay. Oh, he's fighting against Bison. Vega. Dictator. I actually find this matchup pretty hard, but the, the first thing I've seen that Star is doing, he's using Crouching Jab after a jump in. I think Standing Light Kick is definitely the preferred button because it seems like he's plus, and that leads into Crouching Medium Kick. You know, pretty much leads into the Touch of Death combo. So that's kind of something you want to really use. For the most part, nice neutral jump. Try to bait the Stand Fierce maybe with, with Grab in that situation. Okay. Mmm. Just like that. Old Sagat. Old Sagat doing the things. Round two. Okay. Let's see what's going to happen here. Uh, okay. Stand roundhouse. Tiger shot. Yeah. Against it. Mmm. That was deep. That was deep. No cancel right there. Go for the string. Tech the grab. He is rushing down. I could have been stunned right there if he canceled that crouch. Mimic. That's going to be a cancel. There's a stun. Three hit. Standing fierce in the face. Give him the black eye. That's what happens. Is it three out of five? I don't know. Is it three out of five? Yeah, it's three out of five. Three out of five. You know, Sagat, that stand fierce was? That was a stand fierce because Bison did not let Sagat go to fight Ryu and Honda in the Street Fighter anime movie. He said, you need to go take care of Vega, which we never seen what happened afterwards. But, you know, we're not going to talk about that. Yeah, that was a great punish on Sly. Proton, how you doing? Uh. Okay, Tiger shot. That was so meaty. Meaty to the point. Nice jump in. The reversal, good. That was good. Usually all Sagat players, including me, we love to do reversal DP after like one hit that like, kind of like staggers because we want that knockdown so we can start the fireball trap again. So very good awareness from T Super to not press a button here. He has super, so he can do he can do super two fireballs if he reacts to it. So that's why boss, you don't see him do supers a lot. He's more neutral jumping. Oh no tag. No tag, that's DP. You floaty. You gotta neutral jump that one. Neutral jump is the way to go against these tiger shots, also against projectiles in general. Oh, nice! That 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 was that. I'm not gonna lie. That was that is the fight cake gimmick with Tiger Knee into DP. Don't you dare press a button. It's like the same equivalent as like if a Ken player does light punch, dragon punch. They're gonna do a second light punch, dragon punch right away. This is honest, honest ST right there. You see the neutral jump against charge characters. You always want to kind of like neutral jump like that because who knows? They might do their expansion move and then you can just jump over it, right? And then you get a guarantee like neutral jump punish. All right, boss is right there. Oh, misses the DP there. There's no DP reaction there. Nice tiger shot. He's, he's scared to throw fireballs because he can't. The bison can super get the knockdown and kind of cause some nonsense in that way. Right. right. Um, I, I see something. A dictator is the most honest character in ST. I'm about to ban you, actually. I'm about to ban you. I don't. I don't like hearing nonsense like that. All right. Here we go. Mm, tiger shots again. Ugh. Again, nice. Ooh, reversal scissor kick. Oh, he doesn't go for the cross up. He could have went for the cross up in that situation. Okay. Okay, nice. That was a meaty slide right there. Completely safe slide. You can make slides in this game very safe compared to like modern games where pretty much slides are really not safe in, the, in those in situations like that. Nice side crusher. Side crusher does go through low tiger shot. Boss slams the controller. I see his hand lift up because he knew that DP hit that DP with a purpose. Okay. Mm, sweep again. Sagat definitely has one of the best sweeps in the game. It's just so active, so meaty. You can just kind of throw it out. Not many characters can challenge it. One character that can challenge it is Zangief because he is too broken. So just want to throw that out there. Nice. Again with the double reverse. Okay, so Kabas is at match point right here. And hello, Kujo. Kate, can, can they hear you? I think. Okay, yes. I, hey. I, I think you got to talk, talk a little into it. Thank you so much. Hey, so how have the matches been going? How are you? This is the first match. You just saw, we just saw Boss go with a quick 3-0 right here. Oh, very good. Uh, I'm wow. doing well, just running back and forth, doing the booth thing. Now I'm here commentating, you know? Yeah. But yeah, like, tell, tell people what's good. You, know, you just came back from Japan, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How was that? It was a really good time. Yeah. Uh, a, you know, a very strong showing for Super Turbo, and, um, you know, the country in general was beautiful. Yeah, of course. It really was. I think Evo really Japan was. had, like, what, 50 like side games for retro stuff. Yes. They, I saw they had a uh, Mario Tennis. Okay. Mario Tennis tournament. And like the old ones, like from like the N64 days. Or, oh, or, I didn't or know GameCube that. days. Like it was the first Super Mario Tennis. I don't know which which console it came from, but I was watching. I was like, okay, they're actually going mad hard. That's but, right. But also they did ST. Uh, Boss ran CBS2 as well there. 
So, and now we're at Tech Showdown. Right? That's right. Another premier tournament that loves their retro tournaments because Tech Showdown is the, the longest running fighting game major of all time. It's been here before I was playing. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I, 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 didn't, I didn't know about Tech Showdown until Tech Showdown 3. And that's when I believe Duck Doe um, won that tournament. Okay. With, with Ricky Ortiz and Mario's Catcom 2. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That they, they actually created this, this scummy team called Magneto Storm Psylocke MSP. Oh, my. Which should, which should be banned. It should be banned in comp competitive play. Um, but, yeah, they're the reasons why that team exists. Yeah. So I hate them for that. Um, <laughs> but we're here now. All right, we got Jay Pong, actually. Jay Pong is stepping up, and this guy is amazing. I played him on Fightcade a lot, and he has beaten me a lot with his Dictator. Mm -hmm. So his Dictator, he got the tough touch death combos. If he hits you, he's going to finish, unless he's nervous. So I don't know if he's nervous or not, uh, but we'll see. Yes. On, on Fightcade, when you're home, you know, you're not that much. You're not that nervous, right? Um, I haven't seen Rat Tail play, so this would be a treat to see. But seeing a good dictator, the match can go by quick. Yes. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah, that's Jay Pong. They call, they call him my twin. Oh, he really? <laughs> he got the three Gs, too. Jay Pong, <laughs> G, G. <laughs> oh, okay. okay, starting it off, yeah, right away with the oh, headbutt there. Oh, yeah, Honda. Okay, so I'll crush it, get out. Mm, it's not champion edition right here. <laughs> yeah, Honda actually, I think... It does pretty oh. well if he gets the life lead. Nice. Oh, very good. Yeah, great use of super there. It is a great use of super. Nice stand jab. That's the traditional. Usually light punches or light kicks uh, can really stop those moves. Wow. Ooh. The butt. Oh, that's it. Back throw and. Yeah, no tech. Oh, Ooh. no. Last bit of that headbutt. Honda yeah. knock. Dictator yeah. out. Yeah, Hon Honda is, can be obnoxious. Oh, there we go. Oh, he almost got it. Hit him with the 1,300 points. All right, go for the grab. No tech from the side. Oh, cross nice up. cross up. Look at that. Up. I told you. That's very fast. That's the thing about this game. It's so quick. Yeah, yeah. Especially if you're playing, like, a character like Bison where, like, his main strategy is to land these combos and yes. just kill you. Right? Okay. Uh. Well, a little bit of a trade there. Yeah, bad trade, actually, because Honda loves those type of trades because he actually does more damage. Yes. Okay. No, doesn't tech the grab again. Okay. Dictator puts himself Doesn't in the corner, again. throws on out. Okay. Boom. Rat Tail is so is confusing me right now. You know why? <laughs> because he did that sick, sick punish against the, cro the, the cro side crusher, and he did a cross up super. Right? I'm like, oh, he is a professional. Yes. And now he's not taking no grab. I'm like, I'm so confused. <laughs> <laughs> I was so confused, but it's tournament I, nerves. It is tournament nerves. I think, <laughs> like I said, I think that's what it comes down to. Mm. J Pong has a great use of uh, movement. Yeah, yeah. Bison is a very like heavy movement character. You know, kind of like you know, he has like the head stomp, double reverse. His jumps is very floaty. He's pretty much like Street Fighter's Magneto, right? Just okay. like full of magnetism, like cycle cup, cycle power, right? Yeah. Um, he doesn't fly in this game, unfortunately. Or I don't. Uh, yeah, he doesn't have a, a teleport in this one. But his floating and like just kind of maneuvering, he's one of those characters that has lots of mobility. Probably not the best, uh, not number one because oh, that's instant overhead. Because Ooh. Vega exists, in the Dictator exists right. in the game, right? Uh, but he's definitely up there when it comes to mobility. Yes, and. We're tied rounds yeah. right now, so. Yeah, Rat Tail needs to win this a tie to one to one because you never want to be down 2 and 0. Oh. Right. Oh my god, that oh, it was the it. same it's side. And he hits the combo. Look at why he looked at me. He's like, <laughs> Do you remember that? I hit you with that on Fight K. That's what he just said. <laughs> and he. And he uh, oh no, we're not talking about what you're drinking, though. We, we are a PG stream right here. So that means J Pawn gets up to Rat Tail 0. Yep. Yeah, dangerous spot for Rattail to be in, and this is the winner's bracket, so he has a second chance in losers, but... Yeah, this is actually first round of the tournament. First round, nice. Got your medium kick right there. That's good. Uh, uh, oh, no, he drops it. That's what happens when you take a sip. You take a <laughs> sip of something you shouldn't be drinking. Awesome trade on that Psycho Crusher. Jay Pong sitting on match point there. Yeah, match point. He is hyped. It's always like, I feel like after you get down done your first round, you just play naturally better after the second round. Yes. Like, even if you're in losers, you're like, oh, breath of fresh air. You know, like all the pressure's gone at that point, right? 
Yeah. Ooh. Bison's jumping medium kick is an instant overhead. Ooh, nah, he tried to style for no reason. That's disrespectful. <laughs> Pawned it down mm. to that pixel of I hope life. You, I actually hope he lo Wow, cross up? I hope you lose. Oh, never mind. Oh, wow. Great snuff. Two Honda Super, and that's going to be it. Jay yeah. Pawn. Three. Oh, right there. This is actually a pretty tough bracket. Uh, just looking at it, we have Silent Scope on the top uh, top seat. Mm -hmm. Boss is here as well, too. Yes. So Silent Scope and Boss will, will fight off at winter semifinals. But the lower end of the bracket, we have Baka Gabolski. Um, he's a Zangief player. Mm -hmm. But he actually got sent to losers. He's He actually, uh, Baka, oh, wow. he actually uh, eliminated me as CEO in ST uh, last year. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then Jay Paul, we just saw him. I remember because really you had another top eight to go to. Because I remember. King of Fighters. I, it, was, yeah. it was King of Fighters. I was like, man, I you wish were I, juggling everything. I wish you didn't, ha you didn't remember my losses, though. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> All right, but we, we, we let's see. We'll see what the next match is. We we did see Jay Pong versus uh, Rat Tail. Jay Pong taking it. I think Days and Snuggle Guns is playing right now. We also have um, Pat Van Pelt, um, who's one of the best CBS2 players in America, in the winners' quarters as well too. Versus Earth Stray, who's beaten Vodka in a three-two matchup. So I'm curious wow. on what Earth who Earth Stray plays, uh, because. I, I never heard of Earth Strike before, so maybe the chat knows or who knows, but yeah, I'm pretty sure we'll see him on the stream somehow uh, because, you know, we, we have a lot of matches to go through. Yes. Right? But how's your tech showdown so far? Very good. Yeah? It's been very good. You know, there's a lot of games here. The Red Show Room is full of games. And then, of course, the uh, the main stage. Yeah. You know, all kinds of main stage games. And you're putting out, you're, you have a booth. And yeah. you're all set up for a content. Yeah, you're just, doing just, interviews just and all kinds of cool content. stuff. Uh, you know, I just try to do something different. You yeah. Know, I do like a lot of Let's Play stuff, uh, but I kind of want to see if, uh, you know, just kind of like showcase more tournament, showcase the community. Because, like, I feel like a lot of people that do follow me that don't know core FGC. Right. I kind of want to expose them to that. Yeah. Right. Because yeah. that's kind of the most important part. And so. And I like keeping the retro games alive. Absolutely. Stuff like that is fun. Right. right. There's no retro uh, games in the main ballroom, but my booth is there with retro games. So they, <laughs> they, can hold, they can hold that. Right. Plus, you know, people get to come up and meet you and talk with you and, you know, and like you said, play a couple games and yeah. everything. And that's that's a good thing. Yeah. You know, very cool. Very cool. Yeah, so it's really cool. Uh, but this is going to be a, a stacked ST tournament, like um, just because we have a lot of great players here mm -hmm. uh, like that we international talent like besides like just North America we have boss from Japan right, uh, right. Uh, Hokuto uh, from Mexico who's probably yes maybe the best NA player maybe who knows I mean people talk about it right like he's, 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 saying he's, he's in contention yeah and now we have Sanscope who plays a broken character named Cami <laughs> um, and uh, yeah he's probably one of the best Cami players in the world as well, too, if you guys don't know, he also makes lots of YouTube videos with uh, tutorials of, like, CBS2 and ST and combo trials as well, too. And they are going at it. Uh -oh. Yes. The, re the rec comment? The recording comment? Is that what it is? Silent Scope with Cam. He got old Ryu as well, too. Old Ryu has an unblockable uh, Tatsu. If you oh, get really? Down. Yeah, for some reason, it, I, if you... Um, get knocked down and he does a, a jump tatsu right above your head mm -hmm. before you kind of wake up you actually can't block it wow crazy. yeah that is crazy yeah. uh, okay nice oh trying to get the jump in there great yeah. stuff I'm, I'm and also big shout out to everyone watching um i want to just give a big huge shout out to cigar bob who's the probably one of the best zangy players in the world as well too also old school player from back in the day before me playing all right let's go silent scope uh Nice, using the super right there. And that is going to tie it up one round apiece. Yeah. Okay, nice. Yeah, he's, he's trying to stay out the range because Ryu does have better normals than oh. Kami. Nice hooligan flip through the That's fireball. Right. Okay. Oh, Let's That's go. it, back throw. Kami oh. trying to get the cross up. Yeah, missed the cross up right there. Okay, great projectile game trying to keep Kami out. Good anti-air. Oh, he tried to do the trial mode combo right there. <laughs> he tried to do the trial mode combo with the jump with the stand strong. That is it. Silent Scope's going to grab that first game. Yeah, he likes old Ryu. I'm surprised he picked old Ryu because having the super is really, really good. Mm -hmm. All right, Kujo Kate. Yes. Let's, let's talk about something that's not part of the match. What's that? 
do you, do you see Alex Valle, Nerd Josh, and James Chen in the background? I can't. <laughs> I never thought of it before. <laughs> That's really good. Oh my goodness. Okay, I, I just I just want to see if, cool. if you saw what I saw. <laughs> Very cool. Because they're they're here with, they're here with us. Very nice. Okay. Uh, nice, nice stand strong right there. I I know the lore. Come on now. Nice, yeah, neutral jump. Against fireball characters in ST, like, instead of trying to jump back or jump forward, mm -hmm. you really want a neutral jump. Because if you neutral jump, uh, there is there is pretty much a few frames where the character cannot throw another fireball because the fireball is still on the screen. Yes, right, right. Right. So neutral jumping is the preferred way, but neutral jumping Ooh. is actually not easy. It's hard. It is. Right? right. It's actually kind of hard because the, the, the speed of the fireballs are, like, really, they're, they're really different compared to, like, other fighting games. Oh, oh Red Zang, Comet. Zangief. Yeah. He about to turn the butter. That's right. Switching over to Zangief here. That's a surprise pick. Yeah, and Zangief does have an amazing active, like, crouching heavy kick right there. Mm, yeah, look at that. Look at that. Two hits. Oh, no. He says, I don't. Silence goes, I don't <laughs> care. Every time he does DP, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, very ba a strong back and forth start to the game here. Yeah. Cammy already having access to a super. Yeah. Super is, 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 even though she has a super, she, she doesn't really get a good chance to use him unless she is going to chip it out, get out of situations oh. like that. Um, it's not like really as amazing compared to a character like Ryu. You, you could just kind of throw out a ball raw, you could just kind of throw out. Yeah. Uh, so Kami Super is very more particular. Oh, no DP right there. Oh, we press him some buttons. We trading. Actually, he's winning all the trades. He is. No, right. No SPD. Oh, here we oh, go. Oh, that is it. Man, got the Siberian uh, command grab there. Yeah. Oh, we got the super. Super on deck. Yeah, try and get that sweep, the active sweep right there. Yeah, just press stand light kick, to be honest. You'll, you'll actually hit, like, stand and meme kick or crouch meme kick as well, too. No, no. Oh. oh, that is it. Got the scoops once again. We are going to tie it. 1-1 one, one for rounds. Yeah, 1-1 one, one round. Red Common needs to win this to, to make it to at least 1-2. to two. Nice sweep again. Uh, try, tries trying to bait out the cannon spike now. Ooh, look at, look at the trades. Yeah, very patient oh. game here by the Red Comet, but that's it. Gets the hooligan. Nice sweep. Mm, can Ooh. of spike. Strong. Yeah, anti-air. Can of spike. Jeez. Oh, it's chipped there. Super. No, it doesn't even need it. Got the got the spiral arrow. Silent Scope takes it 3-0. That's it. Silent Scope. Yeah, strong three games there. Unbelievable stuff. Red Comet. Why does Zangief's eye look like it's about to pop out like it's like a zombie? You know? Yeah. like It's like kind of creepy, right? You know... Parts of this game, I really wish, made it into the other Street Fighter games. Like, you know when you used to hit people a couple times and they'd, like, throw up? Ah, you know, like, uh, yeah, yeah, like yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah. If you hit a heavy punch, they, like, ugh, like, they, 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 they vomit. Right, yeah. But, but I think they changed that because there was, like, kind of, like, controversy because Mortal Kombat, there's blood, and because of that, it's, like, oh, it's R-rated, and a lot of countries, like, like some countries ban Mortal Kombat games. Oh, I didn't know that. that. Yeah. So okay. Street Fighter, like you know, we'll change it to like vomit instead of blood. Yeah. Hey, that's true. Yeah, yeah. So it's actually kind of good. So Silent Scope, uh, he beat Red Comet, so he moves on to winner semis finals. Mm -hmm. um, so he's gonna have to try to see he fights the winner of Boss, and the other side is, is uh, Potter versus Nick G. So Boss needs to fight one more matchup before fighting uh, possibly Silent Scope, depending mm -hmm. if he wins his next matchup. And then we actually have Jay Pong playing, I guess, right now on the, on the side cabinet, Snuggle Gun. So we're waiting for Nerf. Maybe we'll see Earth Stray because I'm curious on who Earth Stray played because he beat Vodka. I'm assuming because Vodka plays Zangief, mm -hmm. Earth Stray has to play a Fireball character, right? To kind of because we gotta keep these pesky grapplers away. It's like kind of, <laughs> it's like using a roach sp a spray, you know? It's like spray and everything <laughs> like that. Try to uh, keep him out. Who beat That's Vodka? Right. A person named <coughs> Earth Stray. Zone him out. I don't know if you guys know uh, who he is. Maybe if you guys do know, please let me know uh, what character uh, he uses. But I'm curious. It was, it was score was three two, and here we have we have Pat Van Pelt coming up versus Earth Stray, who's wearing uh, the red flannel. So we'll see. Uh, oh, he plays Claw. Oh, very good. Oh, How exciting is that? Oh man, we wow. have a mirror match here. Wow. Okay, we, we, this will be a degenerate match right here. Now, can we say this? No, I just call him PVP. <laughs> okay. So his 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 his, his name is uh, Pat. 
Pat. I just call him Pat. All right, Pat and Pat yeah. and Seth Claw mirror match here yeah, against so, Earthstrike. So Pat's been around since I've been playing. Oh, very good. Okay. And he always had that name since that's why that name's very old school FGC. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> very nice. That's pretty awesome. Okay, Earthstrike with the claw. Ooh. Claw back. Uh. All right, who's who's going off the wall? Who's going off the wall? We got some chip damage as well. Okay, nice. Ch more chip damage. More chip damage. Rolling claw. Oh, nice. that is it. Yeah. Yeah, that's actually, if you block that, you're actually plus there. So that's why he gets a crush. Me and Punchy got hit. Oh, oh try to get him with the sky high. Yeah, sky high is not the best move. Oh, wow. That's right. Great. Uh, crystal flip. Yeah, that just hit from the tip. Okay, guess. Oh, here we go. Guessing game. Yeah, the Barcelona. My goodness. Yeah, it's actually very cheap because <laughs> even though sometimes it hits on the front, it can be a cross-up. So you can't tell. It's yeah. actually really hard to tell. Look at that. Look at the chip damage. Chip damage is absurd in this game. Earth Straight ties it, it up. Is. Who's going to take the first round? Round three, fight. Okay. A little bit of neutral. Yeah, yeah, Game yeah. on the ground there. Taking back up to the skies. Uh, yeah, probably misses his rolling crystal flash right there. Oh, nice. Here we go. Time to guess. Ooh. Don't jump. Time to guess. Nice flip out. Yo. Okay. 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 Pat does have access to his super. Uh. Oh, nice air to air to snuff that Barcelona. Okay. Nice. This is nice. I like. I like. I like it. It's close too. The music's it playing is, faster yeah. too. Yeah, it's over. Oh, yeah. That e pixel's gone. Even in that situation, right? There's you can't. Earth Strike couldn't get a cross up there, but mm -hmm. he could get that chip damage. Yes. And he's plus there, so he'll 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 he, he would have done crouch me and bunch. And that button is also special cancelable, so you probably would have done another move into a chip damage, and then that would have been like kind of game. Like maybe a roll. Game. Yeah, roll or sky high claw, mm -hmm. right? Oh, it's time to guess. Right. Oh, that's it. Goes for the back throw. Yep. Jump over throw. That Ooh. is the that is the tack. That is the Julian Robinson right there. Yeah. He had three three throws. Ooh. Nice anti-air yeah. with the flip. Yeah, you can get two of them, but it's actually pretty tricky. Oh, with the oh. super? Fantastic Disrespectful, stuff. Pat. That's disrespectful. <laughs> what? How was he charging for that? My man knew that was stun. Nice. Good air to air. Oh, nice. Oh, nice anti-air. Yeah, he misses right there. Every time you see that Stan Roundhouse, yes. he actually went to go for another juggle for the, with the Scarlet Terror. I've never seen that twice in a row. Like yeah, it, act it actually works twice in a row. That's awesome. Yeah, it's, it's just like you have to be kind of seasoned to, to really pull that off. Yeah. Oh, he tried to do it. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. harder on the ground. But like, it's easier in the air because you're higher, so it stay it launches you higher. Cool. Oh, oh. man, got the scoops <laughs> in the air, and that's yeah. going to be it. Ties that's it up one to one. That's right. Dun dun. Here that comes the challenge. It. You ever notice the. Oh, boxer. Oh. Okay, we got a boxer on the screen. Yeah, boxer's actually upset that that that, that, that uh, claw took his name, American name. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> That's why. That's right. Yeah, this is actually going to be an interesting matchup because, like, whenever, uh, whenever, Dick, uh, well, whenever claw actually goes off the wall, mm -hmm. Balra can use the dash punch to actually kind of escape or use the headbutt to escape because it has a lot of maneuverability. Yeah. Oh man, that's it. Boxer gets back thrown. Gonna block that super. Oh uh, yeah, do that. He also has a really nice, like, neat charge trick that you can kind of do, like, rush upper into headbutt, um, which is pretty sick. So it actually stops people. It actually makes it a guessing game because you can do headbutt or throw. That's oh, like the, okay. That's like the guess. And the crouching meme kick is doing wonders against that slide right now. Wow, that was a safe headbutt. That's not safe cool. headbutt. Can't get a combo from there. You gotta be crouch medium kicking the crowd strong. Oh, that's a great block there on the Barcelona. Nice anti air. Yep. Yeah, he's chilling. Just wait. Oh, oh my, my god. Oh my goodness. Not Kay. gonna kill. That's right. Great off grab the wall again. there. I think he tried to go for a grab, but he didn't get it. But Barbarock's gonna. But Barbarock has super. Yeah, punish two to one. You know, I'm actually very surprised that this counter pick actually worked because. Mm -hmm. His claw, you know, Earthstrike's claw was, was working. Yes. And it was close. It wasn't like it was a watch. No. Right? So, but, I mean, he's there. He's up 2-1. He knows better. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can Earthstay keep this win yep. going on his side? Nice. All right, there's chilling. Yeah, this oh. is a very patient start to the game here. We're seeing right, here we uh, Pat we staying on the ground a whole lot more. You got a mash. 
Oh, see, I was just, I was just looking at Pat's hand. He doesn't know how to mash out the ball wrong. Because you have, you have, there's a specific mash that you need to do, and you can get out off of one or two headbutt attempts. Wow. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, oh, my that's God, it. the headbutt. shoulder. That was I mean, the headbutt. That was a shoulder butt. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so that does mean Earth Day is going to be uh, sitting on match point here. Yep. Nice headbutt again. It's crazy because he's also he's guessing right a lot with these headbutts. It's yes. just working out, and then anytime Boxer can get a knockdown, mm -hmm. it's it's a huge win because his Oki is ridiculous. Okay, great forward throw here, and <laughs> putting Claw back into oh. the corner. Wow, this is a great mix-up. With the throws, that's going to do it. Yeah, so there's Earth a reason for that. Like, Pat, Pat's trying to, to counter throw back. But mm -hmm. the thing is, there are, like, throw priority, throw range priority. Right. So some tick throws, like, no, tick throws are not even in this game. Characters okay. have, other characters have more throw range. Ranges, So yeah. because of that, they have better tick throws or better counter tick throws. Mm -hmm. So uh, maybe that's the reason why Herb Stray pick, pick, uh, pick Boxer, because... I mean, he's known to just grab, grab, grab. Now, what is your favorite character to pick uh, oh. in, the in the cast? So I like to play this, like, character. He's kind of, like, he's not, like, good. He's just kind of whatever. Uh, I like to play Old Sagat. Okay, very well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's kind of, you know. All right, we got Jay Pong back. <laughs> and Jay Pong is, okay, Jay Pong won his last match. So he is going to fight against Earth Stray, who's staying on the cab. And he oh. is, um... This is this for winning semi. So winner of this gets the winners nice. finals. One step closer to that top eight guarantee medal and dog tag. Yeah, if you guys don't know, Texas Showdown gives away like you know, anytime you qualify, you get a dog tag, right? Top eight, all top eight gets medals. Yeah. Right. So it, it's actually you know pretty pretty sick. The medals are really nice this year. Um, they are uh, well, obviously impressed medal, but then they have a resin in them. It looks just really cool. Yeah, I wish yeah, we yeah. had one to sort of show. I've seen people just wearing them. Like, they're they're wearing them proudly here. Like, people that are, like, some of the terms that have already finished and mm -hmm. done, right? They, they are wearing them proudly. Yeah. They're very nice. Okay, so Earth Tree is going to head back to the claw side. Yeah. And j Pond sticking with Dictator. Yeah. So one of the best players in the world uh, from Japan, Mao, he actually released a tier list recently for, for his, like, characters. And he put... Claw as the best character in the game. Like he is S tier, everyone else, and he's the only S tier on his tier list. Okay. And uh, everyone else is like A or like B and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So it's actually a pretty sick tier list. What do you think about um, you know people f finding out more stuff like you were saying, Old Sagat, Chun Li, Boxer? It's I mean, do you think it's still uh, Vega or Claw is still that high, or do you think oh, there's yeah. more characters he, up there? No, he's 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 amazing because his knockdown is just too good. Yeah. Once he knocks you down, it's, it's like game. really hard. Yeah. It's like really hard because you can't tell. Like a perfect mix-up with, with with Claw from the wall dive, mm -hmm. you actually can't tell. Even the person playing Claw can't tell because it doesn't matter to them because if it hits, it's a knockdown. If it doesn't right. hit, it's still his turn. Right, right. So right. either way, it's just an amazing option to do. So we need to put that in six. <laughs> well, I mean, we'll see if he makes it to six. That's true. That's true. Oh, cross Ooh. up. Uh-uh. Look Fantastic at that. He, he's a combo there. master. Whatever button he presses, it just combos. That's right. Yeah, whatever button he presses, it just combos. Jay Pong getting that round on the board there, going for the mix-up on the hard knockdown. Yeah, shout out to Knuckle Dude in the chat. Oh, right. very good. Yeah, shout out to Nugget and Jack coming back to play some Street Fighter. But, you know, you're a kid. If you come, if you play me, I'll beat you 100 0. So, <laughs> but, anyways, back to the commentary. Uh, okay. Okay, Dictator does have uh. access to a super. Yep. Good air to air against Vega. Or Claw. Nice, yep. Yeah, it's, it's kind of hard, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, snuffs out the super. Oh, yeah, the flip kick. Nice anti air. Good charge right there. That's right. Yeah, I was going to say, man, that's going to be an early charge. Uh, yeah. Coming down in the air. Yeah, if you're a charge character player, like you have to find all these unique ways to kind of like hide your charge. Yes. So it's sneaky because obviously there's ways to make it very like obvious, and you don't want that, right? right? You want to really mask your charge so it's like people can't tell if you have that condition already, you know, already done. Okay, Claw, 
loses his claw and Dictator. Yeah. Closes it out with a throw. Jay Pong goes up 2-0. Mm -hmm. Wait, with the Bison. Like I said, this guy smoked me on Fight K. Mm -hmm. Like he's he's really good at this game. He's also from the Dallas area, I believe. So oh, he is representing nice. Texas. Cool. It's 2-0, man. <laughs> okay. Now, one thing we're seeing here, that this is a match game. Yeah. And uh, Earth Stray did not pick Boxer. No, it's I, it's because I think Jay Pong, I mean, he, Jay Pong just knows, I think, the matchup better. Mm -hmm. And plus, because this this is a high fly character, like, ooh, <laughs> we just grabbed them out of the wall time. Like, they're both really fast characters that can move around the stage super fast. Right. So, Vega... Uh, well, Claw, he's actually the, the best character when it comes to mobility. Yeah. So that's probably why he picked him. Because Boxer, even though he hits really strong, right. uh, his movement is limited within the air. His movement's great on the ground, but his air game is not great. And Bison could kind of take advantage of situations like that and kind of stall in those situations. Yes. Okay, Bison getting out of harm's way out of the corner there. Yeah. Going to get that back throw. Yeah, Jay Pong at match point. One hit. It could be it. Oh. oh, nice counter grab against an unsafe sub crush. Wow, oh, what a wow. That's what I'm talking. He masked the charge right there. Oh, uh, look, he just walked off with his with his drink. Oh, he's, he's definitely he's definitely toasty. <laughs> he's definitely toasty right now. Fantastic. You know, he's continued the end of right that now. super with, uh, you know, uh, the air combo up in the air. Fantastic yeah. stuff there. Yeah, Bison for can Bison can juggle with his hell attack. Um, it's probably it's what you see a lot in Paul Boy, like Street Fighter Five. Bison can do the same thing. Yes. Um, but this is kind of where it originated from. Yes. There's a jump, medium punch, jump, medium punch, and then after he hits two hell attacks, he can actually get a third hit of the of the first hit of the hell attack. Wow. And then he can go into super if he wants to. Oh my. Yeah. But it That's doesn't pretty do, cool. It doesn't do that much damage, but it's just great to watch to kind of stall and watch. Yeah. 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 Very yeah. cool. Very flashy. Yeah. Very, very flashy. It's very flashy. Right, so we have Jay Pong in winners finals of this pool. See if he can qualify in top eight uh, winners. And the other side, I think they're still playing Potter versus Nick G, a first round match. Winner, I'm probably, I'm pretty sure after that match is played, Boss will be on stream. Mm -hmm. He'll be in the gauntlet. Wh whoever is playing, he's gonna be in the gauntlet because then wow. Boss um, or the winner of Potter and Nick G will fight against Silent Scope. And then that will fight the winner of Jay Pong to qualify top eight winners of ST. Oh, my goodness. Right. And then loser's bracket, who do we have? I wonder where Vodka is in the loser's bracket. All right, he's still here. He won his match against uh, T. Donimus, 3-0. So he's waiting for the loser of I, which is, where's I? Oh, which is either Boss or Potter versus Nick G, right? And then, yeah, we have a lot of people. Snuggle Gun still in. Pat still in. The Red Comet, right? And we also have uh, Earth Stray, who we just saw. Right, right. Yeah, just got knocked down to losers there. Yeah, yeah. Three, two, one. Who do you think has the uh, possibility of winning this? Of this tournament? pool? Mm -hmm. A tournament? Yeah. Uh, so for tournament, I have to go for my man Hokuto. Oh, okay. Uh, because I actually, uh, he's one of the players that I I sponsored this year to go to tournaments. Yes. So I, I yeah. sponsored him to go to Common Breaker, mm -hmm. uh, so which is coming up uh, in a few weeks. Yes. So yeah, Memorial Weekend. Yeah, Memorial yeah, yeah. Weekend. So I'm, I'm obviously wanting Hokuto to win because I believe in him. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah, that's even though awesome I, even stuff. though I watched him last night in Street Fighter 3, but, uh, you know, he's... Sometimes you got to throw a little jab in there. <laughs> you know what I mean? He also he also got uh, top three at Alpha 2 uh, this past weekend. Yes. So that's really good. He's also in top eight in third strike, which is great as well, too. Uh, we have, oh, this is Nick G mm -hmm. versus T Superstar. Okay, so Nick, this is a loser's bracket match. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Flash. We, ha we haven't seen DJ. We've seen a lot of, a lot of Dictator right here. DJ is actually one of the characters that people uh, in Japan put him as like pretty, pretty good. Like he's not like top, 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 but he's he's up there, and he's he's solid. He actually has an amazing move set, move mm -hmm. kit, lots of like kind of creativity when it comes down to like offense and combos. Right. So it definitely works out. Obviously, he's also in Super Six, um, so it's actually pretty awesome to see just DJ being represented because he was pretty trash in Street Fighter Four. Yes, he was. Yeah. 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 
Yeah, he definitely was. I like how um, a lot uh, some of his move set seems uh, like built from Guiles a little bit, but has a lot more mobility. Yeah, a lot of people did think of him. I think probably when it, when he first came out, oh, he's a Guile clone, right? Because obviously in fighting games, there's going to be lots of clone characters, right? right? Ryu, Ken, Akuma, Sean, like Skrill, yeah, right. So maybe they thought, oh, he's a Guile clone, but he's actually not. He he does have some moves like okay, his like his max out right mm -hmm. is it looks like a Sonic Boom, uh, sure right, uh, but ult ultimately he has his own identity because he's more combo heavy. Yes. Oh man, closes it out with the sweep, and that is Nick G going to grab that first game. Yeah, yeah. He's actually always smiling. <laughs> he's always smiling. That's right, he is. He's always smiling. Okay, here we go. Superstar going to try to figure out how to slow down some of this momentum. Yeah, yeah. Good air to air. Yeah, good air to air right there. No, no good punish right there. He needs to use crouching medium kick instead of crouching light kick for situations like that. Oh. Nice Ooh. jump jab right there. Ooh, that is nice. so active. Yeah, good jump in. No cross up. Oh, he's playing the wrong game. He's thinking this is champion edition. <laughs> he's playing he's playing the wrong Street Fighter 2. Okay, a little okay. bit of a neutral start to the game here. That slash is out on the screen. Mm, nice. Yeah, that's DJ slide is like definitely one of those moves that you just abused a lot. Oh, catches the startup of the scissor kick. Nice. Use super for chip damage. Chip damage is amazing in this game. Like I said, sometimes you can just throw out supers, like just to throw it out, just because you want to do chip damage. Right. And uh, you know, it seems pretty pretty easy trying to get the meter to access the supers. Yeah. Uh, so meter is gained by just doing special moves. Yeah. Right. Doing special moves, whipping special moves. Uh, but also meter uh, can be can be gained from blocking as well too, um, and also moves depending on how much meters build. Like uh, for example, reuse fireball. Right. It actually barely gives you meter. It still builds, but barely. Yeah. So some moves gives you more than others. So then it'd be like his uppercut or the tatsu. Yeah, tats. Usually you, you, you want to use tatsu to kind of just like build meter real real fast. Or real. Right. Oh, nice combo, ja jab strong. You could do jab strong into his soul ball kick right there. Oh, this means we're going to be sitting here on match point. Yeah, match for point Nick right G. here. Yeah, jump jab again. It's 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 a uh, DJ also has like these amazing cross ups as well. Um, yeah. Yeah, he's using jump jab, which is doing Ooh. wonders. Oh, he should be dead here. That is it, bam. Uh, oh. Yeah, look at jump jab, straight head, straight punch to the head, <laughs> punch to the head. Nick G locked. Super Sar in that corner, kept that corner pressure up, and knocked him out of the tournament. Yeah, so. yeah. He got, he's back to spectator mode. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> we have Boss versus Potter. Oh, is that Potter? Oh, so if you guys don't know Potter, he is a old school, one of the best old school Mars Catcom 2 players uh, from the West Coast, California. Mm -hmm. Um, so he dabbles with like CBS2 and like kind of like ST, but his main game I uh, came here for uh, this weekend is Mars Capcom 2. Okay, yeah. okay. And he's he's hitting the deck. Yeah. Oh look, he's like I'm not playing on the cap. He's hitting the deck. That is a Marvel 2 player for sure. One thousand percent. Oh, 000%. very nice. Oh, with the glove too. Yeah, with the glove. With yeah. the glove. With the glove. Very nice. <laughs> he got the glove. He's he's thinking he's playing Magneto right now. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah, it's Potter Potter. It is Potter Potter. He is down on the deck. You can't even see him on the stream. You can only see his feet and his shorts. <laughs> That's right. And his, yeah. and his thighs. You can only see the thighs. Right, I'm actually curious what character he, you know, he plays. A, he has to be play a broken character. Yeah, either Claw or Dictator. I think it's a Claw or Dictator for sure. No, He's got to keep on. us in claw, suspense. Claw or old Sagat? Yeah. Oh, yeah. there you go. There. All right, we've got that mirror match here. Old Sagat on both sides. Yeah, this is, be this is a beautiful matchup, guys. <laughs> nice, boss. 
I would say Boss does have an advantage here because he probably play, he plays more Street Fighter games, mm -hmm. right? Uh, but Ultra Guy is, is pretty interesting. Usually, what you want to do is you want to have a good jump in and press tank, uh, jumping roundhouse. Mm -hmm. Mahata could have got jumping roundhouse against that. Uh, you not, don't really use, uh, I would say, Tiger D to go through fireballs. Jump roundhouse is definitely your best friend because it just does a lot of damage right there. Um, and you get your plus you see right there, and you get situations like it's 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 Ooh. very good. Nice, stand strong, cancel into DP. That's right. For the death, for the win, for the first round. Don't want to catch that execution error a little bit there. Kind of yep. close it out. Tiger shot, tiger shot. Oh yep, yeah. See, like I said, that jump heavy kick is so good in this matchup. Oh, you know, miss a DP there. Would it also have a uh, longer range than Tiger Knee? So the problem with Tiger Knee is that. Tiger Knee will just go over the fireball, mm -hmm. but it won't hit him because Tiger Knee won't doesn't really hit Crouchers um, once it gets out. Okay. The, the first hit that hits Crouchers is from the beginning of the move. Oh, okay. Okay, locked in back to that mirror match. Yep, yep. Boss up one game. Yep, Boss is up one game right here. Nice again. Ooh, good two hit combo right there. You see, he does. He doesn't really get punished. Like your best thing is like if you know a fireball's coming, you do. Ju you just jump over heavy. Kick. It's just way, way better, more consistent. Yeah. In that situation. Ooh, look wow! At that. Look at that. Can you imagine? You know the timing. They are in sync. That. They're barely. Like, they, their hands are like barely touching each other. Right. No, no DP right there. That was a good chance for a DP. Mm, yeah, that those are lows. L low tiger shot. You have to block them low. Yes. Watch your feet. Nice, there we go, jump around house. Oh, DP. that is it. Great anti-air with the Tiger Upper and Boss. One round up. Yeah, he's, trying, he's trying to go, go to a comfortable 2-0 lead. <laughs> oh, no, no DP there. Yep, there we go, reversal DP, get the knockdown, start the fireball, meaty fireball. Boss is just jumping. He knows mm -hmm. that he, he he has the superior like round game right now, right? Yes. He, you is, know, he is comfortable. And one thing for sure. Boss has been uh, a lot through a lot of the matches, able to push Potter more into that left-hand corner. Yep, yep, yep. You can see Potter trying to get out, got the Tiger upper, and that is going to close it out in Boss's favor. That's going to be 2-0. Yeah, that's going to be 2-0. Winner of this will go to winner semifinals to fight Silent Scope. Um, so that's going to be interesting because. Both of these characters, both of these players play Old Sagat. And Silent Scope plays the worst character in the game, Kami. Oh, that's right. Yep, that's yep. right. Ooh, oh, that's a combo. Goodness. Well, don't get yeah, You never want If you get hit by three Ooh. fireballs, it's an auto stun. Unbelievable. Okay. Yeah, I did not know that. Ooh. Okay, yep. keep it slow. Yeah. Keep it slow. Make him jump. Yep, you see? Great projectile pressure here for Boss. Blocking Potter. Down with the corner pressure. Corner pressure, yep. Tiger shot, tiger shot. It's too good. It, it is accuracy. There's too much accuracy going on on Boss's <laughs> side right now. All right, this is match point here for Boss. Oh, no, too early. Oh, okay, yeah, just nice out of range. That, that's a very nice punishment from far away because if he did DP, if DP would have whipped. Yes. Oh, Tiger, Tiger, just keep doing it. Keep doing it for 69 seconds, please. Don't stop. Don't stop. Keep doing it. It's great. Yeah, keep doing it. This is this is this is a test of chicken right now. It is. Who is going to be the chicken right now? Who this is, is fantastic. Oh, oh here we go. He broke. He broke. Unbelievable. He broke. <laughs> That's right. The surprise attack. Okay, now we do have boss in the corner. Oh, that was funny. <laughs> 15 okay. seconds left oh, on the clock, oh, I thought, I thought and they, I thought, Potter. I thought they were going to run it back again. <laughs> oh. Five seconds left. Both. Oh, oh, man. GG's. That is it. That was Unbelievable. good. Unbelievable. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Very cool. I was like, who's going who's, who's to keep doing it? <laughs> <laughs> that is a clip. Twitch chat. Crowin, come on. Make that clip happen. Make that clip happen. Man, that was really awesome. That was great. That was really great. That was that great. That was really great. And you know what? Such a mix-up at the end, too. You never knew, and then the clock. Clock of timeout. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. I mean, they did spend like 35 seconds throwing tiger shots at Still each other. Still, though. <laughs> hey, you know what? It's the ability to do that. You know, seriously. Yeah, yeah. You know, the ability to get there. That's pretty cool. Yeah, people, pretty cool. it's the funny part is people think it's like trolling. But it's not. It's a it's mind not. game. Mm -hmm. It's a mind game. 
It is. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, we got we got Pat Red and Pell versus the computer right now. <laughs> He's getting smoked by some pink tea hawk. <laughs> He's like, bro, I play I play claw. <laughs> you know, speaking about T Hawk, yeah. uh, T Hawk's daughter Lily is gonna be in six. Yeah. She's looking pretty good. She's looking great. Yes, she's looking, very good. She's looking very great. Um, and there's also a funny story about T Hawk too. T yes. Hawk in this game. Um, used to be one of the worst characters in the game. Yes. And then right, T Hawk, right. uh, so there was like a T Hawk phase where like he just became one of the best characters, um, O T Hawk in particular. Really? Because of the discovery of Officer Select. Okay. And and we didn't ha we didn't understand what Officer Select meant back in the day. Yeah. Until Street Fighter Four came out. Right. So right. because Street Fighter Four, I think a lot of people took that back to like older games. And figure and T Hawk has this option like where you can do either DP or grab. Oh and wow! Yeah, okay. There was like a phase, like a T Hawk, like everybody's. Oh my God, T Hawk, so good. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. That is pretty cool. I like that. No. Nick G with the DJ. All right, we got Pat blowing up one round. Uh, nice. Go for command grab. Uh, nice and anti-air with the up kicks here, DJ. Yeah. Uh, Nick G could have got a, a, a juggle with the, of the up kicks. You could do you could do two of them. Oh yeah! It's like Vega. You could do two of them. It's actually easier with DJ because it's like it knocks them higher. You get multiple hits. Oh, nice. great anti-air! There you the go. See? Very cool. That is. Yeah. Very neat. Oh man, that is it. Yeah, Pat takes it the first game. Fantastic stuff, Pat. Making his way. Doesn't want to leave that loser's bracket. Yep. Doesn't want to leave that loser's bracket. Oh, okay. Nice again. Okay, good anti air. Yeah, a little too far away probably for that one. It is it is definitely range dependent at that point. Oh, I think he tried to go for a jump grab, but didn't get it. Nice. Okay, again. here we go with the mix-ups. Once again. Pushing. DJ further into the corner there. Yep. Oh, lots of claw, but keeping up with the slide closes it out. That's going to be game to the pad. Yep, yep. Or round, I'm sorry, round to pad. Nice. Getting out of the situation. Ooh, jump jab. Active jump normal is a, is a very good tool to kind of like counter like the, those wall dive shenanigans. Mm -hmm. It's just like once you're knocked down, you have to respect it. You have to guess. Right. Oh. Oh, oh, that is it. I like that how DJ's just like, no. <laughs> yeah. No. All right, so we got Pat for, uh, you know, two, going up 2 0. That's right. Kind of moving yeah. to lose bracket. What's Nick, Nick G. Nick? Yeah, what's he thinking about? Yeah, that's right. You're going to have to try to figure out a way to slow down some of these claw shenanigans that are going on on screen. Having a tough time jumping in because of that crystal yep. flip. Yep. With the anti-airs, uh, when he gets the knockdown, the Barcelonas are mixing them up a little bit there. Yeah, it's, it's it's really hard. Not many characters can really give Vega a tough time. Yes. Yeah, he's, he's just really that dominant when it comes to the ground, to the Ooh. air, and to mix-ups. So, pretty hard. Maybe if you pick Balrog, right? Possibly. Yeah, but maybe the boxer can really go go through with just kind of grabbing him, right? Because that's how Pat got set to lose in the first place. Right. Oh. Okay, Claw's lost. Not, ooh. Oh, man, gets a Barcelona. Here we go with the mix-up. Nice, nice. A little bit of trade on the ground. Oh, Sky High Claw, that is so slow. It looks so slow. Mm -hmm. He tried, he, a lot of times, if you use Sky High Claw in this game, you use it for chip damage purposes to kind of close out rounds. Oh. Yeah, mash grabs. I, I heard that. I heard that mash grab. Yeah. <laughs> My man was mashing that. Oh, strong Ooh. jump and gets the dizzy. Here we go. Yeah, the miss is the combo because he pressed the button a little bit too early. Nice oh, jump good jab. Air to air. Yeah, active. Active normals oh. does a lot. Claws back on. Active normals. Oh, wow. Fantastic. Nick G. Yeah, put, gets that put around. game. Oh, I'm sorry. Gets that round. Yeah, gets that round. round. Ties it up. Oh, nice. He's using light kick uh, up kicks. He needs to be using like medium kick up kicks or heavy kick up kicks. Wow. Oh, could have got a combo right there. Yeah, just wait. Just wait it out. 
Crouching Strong is really good against Vega's like normals on the ground as well too. Yes. It'll just beat it because it's active. Oh. No, no anti air though. Okay, Claw does have uh, access to his uh, super in. Uh, oh, got the juggle. And that uh, is going to be it. Crystal Roll closes it out in Pat's favor. Yep. Wow. Pat go with the 3-0 right here. Mm -hmm. Nick G tried his best, but, you know, spectator mode, or maybe there's another game that he's playing. You know, that's the amazing thing about uh, Super Turbo. The damage is so big. The yeah. clock goes so fast. The round so co so quick. Yeah. That it's just, it seems like it's just a whirlwind. It, it is know? a whirlwind. I mean, old games, there was no perception of damage calculations, damage scaling. There, there wasn't, right? right? That was, like, way, way back, way, like, more in the future. Uh, but I think what's really cool about it is that even though damage is so high, time goes by so fast, there's still strategy developing from this, like, 20-plus-year-old game. Right, yes. You know, that's yeah. kind of, like, the insane part. It's not even... It's, it's actually probably, what, it's going to be... Is it thir 30 years old next year? Maybe it's, like, thir 30 years old? It might be uh, 92. So 92... Maybe, I think it was 94? I don't know. Chat, you guys are old. Can you guys tell me? <laughs> I, I think it was 94, if I'm correct. But it's like close to uh, it's close to thirty years. Close to thirty. Close yeah. to thirty years. And people are still finding tech this day. Yes. I think that's like the insane part, or finding new ways to approach matchups, finding new strategies. Um, you know, people are still playing like everywhere, right? Mm -hmm. All around the world, they play ST. I think there's like a big ST tournament coming up. Uh, Is that Collusion Cup? In France. In, in France. In France, in uh, two weeks from now. Yeah. All right, we have Vodka. Vodka with oh. the Zangief versus Potter. So I actually lost this this, this matchup uh, at CEO. Yes. Uh, Vodka eliminated me from the tournament. Thank you, Retro. 1994 is Super Turtles release date. So 30 okay. years for next year. Very good. And they're still finding all kinds of cool uh, stuff yeah. in it. Yeah. Oh. oh, no SPD? Oh, just go for the sweep. Ooh. Oh, here he goes, Siberian Express, oh. and the green hand, green hand closes it out. Yeah, so this is, this is a very, like, David versus Goliath type of battle uh, kind of thing. Uh, yeah. But one thing, he gets a knockdown in the corner, kind of like to, like, see the tendency of the Sagat player. He can actually control the pace because he just keeps Sagat in the corner. And right. He can go for a lot of knockdowns, go for like loops for tick throws. Because once you get hit, once you get, once you block something, a normal, you can't escape tick throws if, they, if done correctly. Right. And you can see, uh. Bok is trying to work his way over to uh, Sagat because he yeah. is locked down in the corner right now. Goes with sweep. Oh, oh man. My God. Why? Exit. Why are you looking at me? Focus on your game, Vodka. Why he looked at me, point at me. I don't, I don't want to see. I hope Potter wins. Potter, mess him up, please. Please mess him up. Fantastic stuff for Vodka. Grabs that game with a super. First game Ooh, over to Vodka. and Rouse. He did Rouse, and they both hit Rouse at the same time. They both hit. <laughs> Yeah, well, Sagat, if, if, if Potter wants to do something, sweep is actually an amazing button. Uh, don't throw too many fireballs when he's close because the Lariat does go through, and it gives him an, it gives Zangief an advantage Ooh. right there. You need to DP. You need right. to DP. Okay, the little trick that Zangief players think they do very well. Okay. Right, they, like, they, they're they slick. Cigar Bob does this all the time, and he does it too. They like to whiff these little, little jabs, crouching jabs, right. whiff a little button, and then sneak a jump. They, they they sneak a jump afterwards, and they think it's little it's cute because they think they can get away with it. Right. Because once you get once they get you block the jump in, it's pretty much a guaranteed grab at that point. Okay. Yeah, yeah. They think it's slick, but if you know that's coming, it's a guaranteed DP every single time. Oh, that is gonna be it. Yeah, and the standing kick. medium kick is so mm -hmm. good with Zandy. Man, we got vodka up too. Potter. Yeah, Potter. I mean. Sticking with Sagat. Yeah, sticking with Sagat. Power loses. He's gonna, he's just gonna go play Marvel Two after this. Yeah. No, no TP. There we go. We got reversal TP though. That's the classic of of, of uh, fighting games. Oh. You, you you don't anti her, but then you do reversal DP anyway. That, that's the <laughs> that's the best part. 
Oh, uh, yeah, you can't press high normals against Ooh. Zangief because Lariat will beat the high normals. Yes. And that's going to be it. Vaka working Ooh, his nice way over, punish. muscling in on Sagat oh, in the corner. That's it, sweep. It's giving me flashbacks. <laughs> the flashbacks are coming to me. And this is it. Vaka now sitting on match point. Yeah. Oh, Tiger Shot. Oh, there we go. You want to use the slower ones because there is a there is a time frame where eventually the, the fireballs will hit the lariat. Yes. Okay, nice. Yeah, tiger trying shot, to tiger get shot. it just right. Yeah, you can see it trading. Yeah, it is trading. Very good. You don't want to throw high tiger shots against Zangief because if he does lariat, it's a higher chance of the lariat actually hitting you because your hands are reaching out so far. Oh, right, right. Yeah, your hurt box is extended. That's what I'm talking about, Potter. <laughs> Okay, Potter up around. Now this is a uh, match uh -oh. point uh -oh. here for uh -oh. Vodka yeah, and uh -oh. tied this, for rounds. This is a bad place. It's a bad place. We want to go to the other side. Let's go to the other side, please. Oh no. Oh no. Don't get hit by super, please. Don't give him the don't give him the satisfaction of the Ooh. super. Don't not give him the satisfaction of super. Oh, okay, good. that is gonna be good. it. Vodka good, good. closes it That's, out. Awesome stuff. That's an honorary loss. <laughs> Honorary yeah. loss right there. He really wanted that super. Fantastic stuff there. Yeah, he really wanted that super. For Vodka. That means Potter is out of the tournament. And you're saying he's going to be playing uh, Marvel 2 up next. Yeah, he's one of the favorites to, to, awesome. to win Marvel's Capcom 2 at this tournament. Um, it's, it's like if you play one old game, you might as well enter another old game. <laughs> you might as well enter another old game. I think we're get, are we getting Silent Scope and Boss? Oh, maybe. Oh, here we go. No, no, we're not. We're getting no. Vodka versus the Red Comet. Okay. Vodka stays on. Oh, wow. We got double geef. We got hugs for days. All right, it's time to hug it out, guys. Hug and hugs all day. Oh, nice. Lariat and Lariat. I wonder if Zangief players like this matchup. Do you, because I know mirror matchups is mm -hmm. like kind of a tricky thing. A lot of people, I don't like mirror matchups and everything. Right. But this seems like a chaotic Ooh. matchup. Yes. It just seems like it could be chaotic, huh? Yeah. See, it's oh, just tick throw city, That's and right. then you're trying to counter the tick throw with your own tick throw, with your reverse tick throw. So it's a lot of circles being turned here. Okay, a little bit of neutral play down on the ground. Both characters uh, do have access to chip damage Look on at the that. supers. Just turn the butter. Yeah. Just churn the butter. SPD Just for days. Just churn the butter. That is it. <laughs> Make a circle happen. You guys know how to draw a circle correctly? Play Zangief. Okay. Oh, oh. again, reversal attack. 1,000 points. Bam. Nice. Okay. A lot of neutral attacks and Lariat. Yeah, a lot of spinning. Yeah. Because it's like you even though Zangief has damn Yunke, which is a great normal, Lariat beats that. So you so you it's like you, you don't <laughs> want to take that risk. It's just too scary. Right. Ooh. Oh man, great. That's it. Gets to confirm on the Lariat. Both Zangiefs have access to full supers right now. Yep, yep, but but a sweep will take it. Oh. Like a stand medium kick. Okay, that is it. Red oh Comet. Oh, my God. Oh, very Lariat. close. Unbelievable stuff. Vodka. Yeah, Vodka takes the first game. Yeah, clutches it out. Okay, we're going back to hugs. Mm -hmm. Hug it out. Time to hug it out. Oh, Ooh, nice. Nice anti air yeah, great. And the SPD. That was really far. Yeah. Okay, nice. Damian kick right there. there okay, Vodka has access to his super early in the match. Yeah, they are pressing some buttons. Yes. Nice. I like. I really do like Vodka's strategy. Mm -hmm. Obviously, like I know him more uh, than Red Comet because playing him in more tournaments, right. seeing him play on Fight Kid a lot. He definitely has anti Zangief strategy. <laughs> like because when it comes down to playing your character, mm -hmm. you mastering your character. You're going to have like those anti strategies of your character, so you can be like, I win the mirror match all the time. Right. So he's doing a lot of neutral jump, like medium kicks or heavy kicks, right? Yes. In that range where like Red Comet is not doing that whatsoever. All right, and that really helps a lot because it stops a lot of the attempts of like SPD reversals right. and also kind of Lariat reversal at the same time. 
Oh, oh, oh. oh. That is going to be it. The Red Comet grabs that round. We are tied for rounds here. Yeah. Nice, nice. Ooh, Red Comet mid. trying to get the jump in. Yeah, he missed the SPD attempt right there with that stand when he whipped that standing medium punch. Okay, Here yeah, we, spin the circle. Yeah, early nice. Early super once again for Vodka. Yeah, Vodka's going to probably play it more lame because he has such a huge life lead. He doesn't need to right. take the risk to go in, right? Look at that. He's just chipping away. Yes. Stand medium kick, stand yeah. medium kick. Oh, oh yeah, with man. punish. That's right. Ooh. Green hand doesn't get Red Common anywhere, and Vodka grabs that round. Yeah, yeah, that jump back heavy kick does stop grabs. I don't know if it's an instant overhead. It could be. It might be, but it definitely stops grab attempts. Yes. So Vodka now sitting on game point. Yeah, he's comfortable. You can see Red Comet playing a little bit more aggressively right now, trying to figure out a way to get in. But that, like you said, that neutral, uh, neutral strong yeah. kick. Yeah, yeah. Neutral medium, snuffing. It's really, uh, it's really Red doing Comet. wonders. It is. Oh, nice SPD. Ooh, that's it. Oh, okay, oh. yeah, you, you can't. I'm telling you, man, you don't want to get to that range where you're just where you're both mashing grabs because it becomes roulette at that point. It's a look. Ooh. Oh, that's it. No, it was light punch. If it was, oh. uh, if it was a different strength button, it would have killed. But he did the light punch SPD. Maybe he tried to do 720, but he just got light punch SPD instead. Now, now Red Comet took a round. Mm -hmm. So one thing I like to do in mirror matches, if I know the other person is more familiar with the character yes. or is better than me, I would just copy what they do, right? So seeing Vaka doing like that neutral jump, medium kick, heavy kick, I, right. would, I would try to do the same thing, see how he counters it, and then right. I can steal that tech to counter him when he does his. Yeah. So that's kind yeah. of the theory that I go with when it comes to mirror matches if I don't think like Ooh. I'm like stronger than in the mirror match. Yeah, I mean, that's a great, you know, great, I was going to say, you know, way yeah, yeah, to yeah. do it, to yeah. be honest, yeah. It's, 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 just, it's a great theory. It is, that's yeah. it, that's the word. No, look at that, Baka. All right, here we go, Red Comet got the first one. No, 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 no grab attempt, too scared. Misses the trip guard on the, on the, cr on the crouching heavy kick. Yeah, yeah, a little bit of a slower start to this round, but it's speeding up here. Yeah. As we're going along, a lot of lariats in the corner. Oh, nice. Nice whiff punish on that. We have Look. Vodka now oh in the corner, God. but that SPD is going SPD. to close it out. Yeah, but this is not enough block stun with this just jump light kick. And that does mean that the Red Comet is out of the Super Turbo Texas Showdown Tournament. Vodka continues further into losers. Yeah, Vodka actually will get his run back against Earthstray, who put him in loser's bracket. Mm -hmm. uh, so he's, he's going to get his run back in loser quarters finals. So we'll see what maybe he could do differently. or Because it seems like on the bracket it was a close set, 3-2, right? Yes. Now we have Boss versus Sansco. This is literally oh. top tier versus low tier. That's right. So we're going to have... Cammy, Cammy versus Old Sagat. Yeah, Cam versus Old Sagat. Uh, Sansco, uh, like I said, one, one of the best Cammy's uh, players to ever do it. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see what's good. Oh, nice combo. Uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, wow. He's doing his combo trial modes That's on YouTube. Right. Make sure you guys subscribe to Sansco's YouTube because he's. <laughs> doing his combo right now. That's right. He's like, I am warming up right now. I'm going to take advantage of this time. Uh, 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 Great uh. cross-up combo there. You can't go. You can't come in this way. You got to go over there, man. <laughs> Don't break the rules. Don't break the rules. You already here. Go, you, you, no, don't go back. You already, you already, you already cheated. <laughs> Commit to it. Hey, speaking about YouTube, Fightcade, Fightcade's a great thing. It is amazing. Fightcade is amazing. It, it really brought the retro scene uh, back together. So That's many right. people really got back into it because there's accessibility when it comes to these retro games. Now. Absolutely. And if you're on Discord, you can go to the Riz One for the Super Lore Boys. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Riz, Riz One, one. is ridiculous. He he does a lot. He does a lot for the retro community. Yes. Yeah. So we are into the action here, and Cami trying to. Grab some more of that damage with the hooligan grab. Yep. That is it, trying to get the uh, jump in combo. Closing up 
that distance on Scott right now. Yeah, like, and also one thing to know, old characters, when you grab, Ooh. oh. Oh, man. If you grab an old character, you're, you, you are unable to tech the throw. So oh, you have to okay. take the full damage with the throw. Um, so this is obviously a very hard matchup for Cammy. Yes. Uh, but Sinoscope, I play Sinoscope a lot in this matchup, and he has little tricks to kind of give him the advantage. Obviously go for the throw, then go for like the ambiguous cross-up. Uh, but what really helps in neutral is that hooligan. That hooligan flip can go go under the t low tiger shots. Wow. Yeah, yeah. And it's really hard to react to because you can get grabbed from crouching. Yes. So you have to react to it with your dragon punch, from Old Saga's dragon punch, in order to stop the shenanigans. If 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 Zonoscope doesn't sees that you cannot react to it, he mm -hmm. will keep spamming it. Yeah. He will keep abusing it. Okay, so that game is going to head over to Silent Scope. Yeah, neutral jump. Oh, nice oh, sweep right sweep. there. Yeah, that was an amazing sweep. Okay, yeah, Silent you see? Scope. Ooh, chocobos. Ooh, great two hit into the uppercut. Fantastic stuff there, yeah. boss. Hit him with the chocobos. Nice. That could have been another another attempt. Nice. Yep. See, hooligan. Uh -huh. Oh, great stuff for the anti air with the uppercut. Okay, nice power hour right there. Yeah, meaty crouch strong. Really hard to reversal that, especially. No, I don't think Boss wanted the grab because he could have got a stand medium kick into, into a DP punish right there. Can't take the grab. Now I got to guess for game. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Okay, a little bit of a missed execution there on that uppercut. And uh, Silent Scope closes it out. Yeah, yeah. Silent Scope could go up 2 0 oh right here. Yeah, spiral arrow right there. Oh, nice, nice stand strong. Right here. Oh, again. Good. Man, good air nice to airs. Block. Yeah, side switch in there for Kami. Yeah, go back. Yes, you Ooh, have to worry about geez. that. Supers will go through fireballs. Nice throw right there. Back to the zoning game. Back to the obstacle oh. course. Time to get in again. Again, jumping. Something like say, no, neutral jumping is hard. It's not easy. It is. It is not an easy thing in this game. You can tell. Boss DP, trade. Wow, that was an, that was an important trade. That was an important DP right there. Ties up one to one. That's right. Boss reels back as well, too. That's one thing for sure, Boss. Switching up the speeds yep. on those Tiger shots there, too, makes it even harder to react to. Okay, Cammy trying to get a, a jump in combo. Yep. Nice. Great anti air yeah. uppercut. Like I said, you got re to react to the hooligans with the DPs. Mm -hmm. Again, oh, Ooh, missed the DP. Very close. Boss was trying to DP right there for sure. Okay, a little bit of an anti air locks Sagat down in the corner. Oh, that's trash. Trash super. <laughs> nice DP right there. Nice DP back. Oh, tick throws for days. See, little tricks. He got little tricks to counter, to, to fight against the top tier. Yes. And that's going to give the round to Silence Go. There you go. A hooligan. Uh, right at the beginning of the round again. Yeah, it is Cammy's best arsenal. Yeah, that's a punish every time. You don't really get a big punish, but you get a guaranteed punish. Again, oh, yeah. Oh, there you go. Never press, never try to press Ooh. buttons while Cammy's doing a string because it could be a possible Ooh. hooligan right there, and hooligan is being used a lot. Yes. Yeah, you know, you can really see. Uh, Silent Scope with grabbing that game, really trying to close the gap, that neutral gap that Silence, uh, that Boss is trying to create. Yeah, yeah. He's doing hooligan strategies. Yeah. Okay, nice tiger shots right there. Ooh, oh, good great catch. There. Fireball. Yeah. They're using hooligan, using the light punch hooligan to kind of go through the fireballs right there in situations. Because this is an obstacle course, right? He, but he's in. Whoa, nice trade. trade. That, yeah. that is a very good trade for Boss right there. Because right here, yep, Ooh, got can't do trade. anything. Can't do anything. Because Cammy can't even build bar at that situation. Right. Because you have to use your special moves, right? Uh, you have to do, like, you, you have to be the one on offense. If you're blocking, you don't build bar. Right. Okay, a little bit of a throw break there. And here we go with a very strong neutral pressure. Oh. Once again, Boss, yep. he's going to get that. Oh, stun. Though. No stun. Oh, oh chocobos. Into the supers. All right. Silent Scope is at match point right now. Yes. And it's crazy because this is not a winner's finals match. This is winner's semis. Yes. So this is a sweaty match. Looks look. It looks like a match that could be for top eight. 
Nice tiger, high tiger shot right there. Okay, neutral jump. Trying to get that combo oh, going. Boss wanted that DP. Hogan. I saw it. Oh, nice oh, stance nice drop. Oh. Cross Ooh. under. Here we go. With the mix up oh. and the hooligan. There's a super. Oh, Not enough. Chip. Tiger shot. Yep. Oh, no. You got to do tiger shot. There okay. we go. And Zion's goal takes it over awesome Boss. Awesome stuff there. 3 1. Zion's goal moves on to winner's finals. And this is going to be an interesting winner's finals because I don't think I've ever seen this match before. Cami versus Dictator. Wow, okay. I, I don't think I, I don't know what this match looks like actually. Uh, but I feel like it's gonna be interesting. Okay, because cause obviously Sonosco can't really throw all these cannon spikes out mm -hmm. because Bison has all these expansion moves that leads into knockdown. Yes. Scissor kick, side pressure, and that also gives an opportunity to go for like a ambiguous Oki cross up. So it seems like Cami really has to work a lot harder and not really focus on a lot of like kind of little spam tactics. Right. 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 You know, and um, you know, real quick because we did see uh, Boss just earlier playing Old Sagat, and he flew all the way over here from Japan. What other uh, games for the rest of the day do you think he's going to be playing? Um, so he has CBS 2 pools. Um, mm -hmm. He had already won Alpha 2. So he yes. won Alpha 2 here at Tech Showdown. Right. Uh, he, was, he was the favorite to win. Uh, I would say for ST, he definitely was not the favorite to win. There We we have a lot of ST players that did come out for this tournament. Yes. And as you can see, Zion's Globe did to put him in losers. Uh, but CBS 2, he is definitely the favorite to win CBS 2. Uh, for, for this weekend, which will happen tomorrow for, for top eight. Mm -hmm. uh, but he has to play his pools first. He has to play his pools first. But I have no doubt that he'll, he won't make top eight. Like, it's it's like a guarantee that he'll make top eight for yeah. sure. Yeah. Awesome stuff. All right. We're going to have Snuggle Gun versus Pat. Yeah. This is actually a great counter pick for Snuggle Guns. Uh, Old Ken does very well against Vega because anytime he goes off the wall, his heavy punch, dragon punch, literally travels like, like literally half screen. Yes. So you, so you can actually counter a lot of like wall dash shenanigans with heavy punch DP. Right. But so let, let's see. Maybe, maybe Snuggles guns will pull it out in this situation, and you just carefully throw fireballs. Right. Because mm -hmm. the fireballs is amazing. Light punch, dragon punch is really good because it does a lot of damage as well too. But heavy punch DP is your best friend because it literally neutralizes Vega's opportunity to scum you out with like kind of like wall dives. Right. Uh, invincibility on startup. Yeah. But Pat, I mean, Pat, Pat wins the ground game. Right. No matter what, Claw still has a better ground game than Old Ken. So if he just stays on the ground with just crouching strong, standing medium kick, slide in, the, in the appropriate places, uh, he will win. That's why you see Snow Guns doing a lot of light punch DPs to try to stop those normals, but if you think about it, it's very risky. Those, yes. are, not, those are not safe safe ways Options. to kind of like approach the matchup, you know? Yeah. And we can see right now Pat uh, taking a very um, movement heavy uh, attacks at Ken. Okay, great air to air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's what I'm saying. Like, he just stays on the ground. He doesn't need to go to the wall. Right. Right, he doesn't need to go to the wall at all. Oh. There, oh I mean, he my. did it. He did it there, but he, it was really hard because he's close to the wall. Ken was close to the wall, so getting a cross cut was a very, uh, I would say, an expert maneuver at that point. Oh. Nice, nice, strong, strong. Oh my God, getting, oh, getting nice anti air. But the up. crystal flip and got yep. the juggle off of that. Ken, okay, going for that back throw. A little bit of a throw break there. Yeah. Four claw. Okay, taking this fireball. Nice. Yeah. Five punch DP. Yeah. You gotta keep him. Keep him there. Keep him there. Ooh. Oh, here we go. Okay. I, I and. Mean, that looked like a punish, actually. That looked like a punish from a tech throw. It looked like yeah. a punish, but I, I want to say it's not a punish because that would be crazy. Uh, but it just looked like a punish, actually. Okay, Snuggle Gun sticking with Ken. Okay, here we go. And this is going to be a uh, mm. match game here for Pat. Yeah, for Pat. Yeah, Crouch and medium kick, fireball, the classic one, two. Ooh, cross strong, cross strong. Yeah, just play the nooch. Mm -hmm. The one, the one button that Pat doesn't really use that's really good against like these characters that can counter the air mobilities but has fireballs to approach Ooh. is stand medium kick. Stand medium kick with Vega is amazing. Yes. Against these characters because it actually snuffs uh, the people that to, to throw out these fireballs. Anytime you have a fireball, you have startup, mm -hmm. and stand medium kick will actually beat the startup. Oh, that's gonna hurt. That's oh. gonna be death. 
Okay, this is going to be match point here for Pat using Claw. Nice, nice. Yep, okay, that's strong it. jump in, three hit combo. Ooh, stun. Uh, uh, caught strong again. Yeah, that's a combo. Oh, man, fantastic stuff here for Pat, keeping that pressure up, and I that, that's gonna be a perfect. Yeah, yeah, that was perfect for Pat. Pat moves on. Uh, the, Pat will fight Boss. I don't. I, I think they're playing now. Oh, they're about to play right now. This is funny because these are both CBS2 main players, but they're playing right. each other in a it, different ST, game. Yes. That's not CBS2. ST. Oh, Sagat versus Vega. This is the epitome of, uh, I would say, top tier versus top tier. This is a matchup you see a lot in North America. Claw versus Osagon. Yes. Nice. Jump strong is very good against the wall dive as well, too. But once Vega, no once Vega knocks down Sagan, it's like... Mix up city. Good luck. Yeah. You know what I mean? Good luck. Nice Ooh, DP. Nice that was amazing. Nice anti-air, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's also, I think, like, not as easy to anti-air uh, Claw. Because especially if you're crouching a Sagan because you're so scared of the slime. Yeah. Uh, so trying to get like that DP motion from a crouching position, it's it it definitely takes more dedication than, than compared to your, you doing standing. Oh man. Nice. Okay, boss. Trying to get the neutral jump combo here. Yep. Ooh. 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 Oh, stun. Gets a stun. stun. Oh. Man, fantastic two hit combo and boss gonna yep. grab that game. That was a great game actually. That was that was a great game. Mm -hmm. Okay, back into the action here again. Nice tiger shots. I like the tiger shots in general. Tiger shots in this matchup, even though it's such a useful like move. Yes. It's not one of his best moves to use against fake, against a claw. You have to really use a lot of like uh, jump medium punches, jump jabs. Because it really stops the, the wall dives, shenanigans, and everything like that. Okay. Uh, heavy punch DP to stop also jump ins as well, too. Because Claw can easily get around uh, projectiles pretty easily, no matter what. Right. And just like you were saying about the timing on the neutral jump there, it's tough. Yeah. It's tough with the projectiles. Uh. The timing of the different projectiles. Yeah. Take a shot. Okay, Pat, you know, trying to figure nice. out a safe way to get in, but that. Uppercut is going to close it out yep, for yep. Boss once again. That's going to be 2-0. Two zero. Two zero. Yeah. All right. Pat, going to have to try to figure out a way to try to get some damage off of Old Scott. Boss right now, Ooh, great nice three, three hit. hits. Yeah. Pushes Sagat into the corner. Yeah, that's, that's actually nice. Yeah, it's, like I said, neutral jump. Sometimes you just land on the fireball. You got no choice. Nice. Trade, trade. Ooh, yep, Ooh, there we go. That jump medium. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, man. The DP. with the jump in. Yeah, like I said, the DP is so hard when you're crouching. It's not easy. See, right again. Oh, oh. Oh. You know, and you can really see Pat only jumping in when he thinks it's safe. Yeah. So he was going over the startup of the fireball. Okay, going to slide that uh, negative part of the uppercut. Yep. It's it's just really hard because, like, even though S Sagat is crouching here because he's scared of the slide. The slide is practically safe. It's, like, 95% safe. You can have a bad slide to punish it, but at this level right here, at this yeah. tournament right where we're at, Pat's not going to throw a, a terrible slide. Right. Right? Oh, Ooh, but, but, he got, but he did get stunned. Yeah, that's one thing. Slide is safe on here. Yep. Never again. For I mean for the other street fighters. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh man. <laughs> nice. Oh yep. man, catches that Barcelona right off of the wall there. No. Nope. Yeah, but, but Claw can can counter that by releasing uh, his attack earlier. If he releases his attack earlier, the the hitbox there Ooh. just does not exist. Nice, nice, huh? Okay, now this is Match point here for Boss. Oh. oh man, blocks the uppercut and yeah, that was that was not the best punish from from, oh. from Pat. That's it. The sweep closes it out. Yeah, Boss's favor. Fantastic stuff. Three zero, and we're moving on. I mean, this is running fast. Okay, Vaca wants his revenge. Right oh, here, here we he, go. He wants his revenge right here. I'm actually curious on this. I want to see the run back.
Okay. Let's see what. We thank you guys so much for joining us at Texas Showdown, and this is Super Turbo on Texas Shot Takers. You know what? And we want to. Do we have time to do the sponsors real quick? If there's a sponsor, a sponsor reel. I'm actually not sure. Nope. I mean, we got we got awesome split frames right here. That's oh right. yeah, there we go. Split There's frame. a lot. That's Rook, it. Modas. Who else? SNK, Ooh. MSI. Okay, Arcade Shock, Junk Food. Junk Food. What else? So I got Gaming Generation, uh, Big Bad Toy Store, Arcade Candy Co. Arcade and, Shock. Yeah, and, and yeah. Texas Shot Taker. Shout outs to us. Shout outs to the sponsors for making this event happen. Also, we have lots of booths with them and yes. just selling and everything. And who doesn't like fighting game merch, right? That's what it comes down to. Who doesn't That's like right. It? Absolutely. Tons of artists hanging out here, bringing their handmade crafted items. And here we go. We're going to oh, have Honda. Earth in uh, playing against yeah. Vodka. Vodka's Honda. Vodka's a Zangief man, but he's playing Honda. He's mm -hmm. playing the counter matchup. Oh, but I mean, this the problem with this disc, right, mm -hmm. is that this is one of the lamest matchups of all time. <laughs> because once Balrog, once once Claw has the lead, he can literally just wall dive to the other side and escape, right? Right. Like, doesn't have to attack in this situation right there unless you make a hard read. Yeah. Like, like, like Vodka just did with the jump medium punch. Rock is trying to lock Claw down in the corner here so he won't be able to use his uh, full yeah. screen mobility, but, you know, Earthstray doing a great job oh, moving this, around there. Yeah, oh, he man. Tried to use crouching it. heavy punch. The crouching heavy punch is a terrible Ooh. anti. That's it. Knocked down by the chop and Vodka. Going to grab that first round. Yeah, he's, he wants to stop eight, right? Mm -hmm. He really wants to stop eight. But, but, but yeah, but, 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 but it's crazy because it's like, I didn't know he had a Honda. I really didn't know. Oh, nice. Headbutt going to keep you locked down on the ground. Yeah. Got the hands for days. Back throw for Claw. Ooh. Here we go, here we go. Nice oh, okay. jump in punch again. That is Ooh, it. Ooh, Ocho. Man. And, and he gets Oki afterwards, too. He gets Oki after that. Vodka closes out that first game using Honda. Fantastic stuff. Yeah, he, he's, do, he's, he's doing what he needs to do to win. Yes. Because I, I, I'm assuming he probably, maybe he tried Zangief and that's why he lost. But he's like, you know what? I need a counter pick. Right. And that's what it comes down to. ST is also a game where, like, counter picks are very strong. Right? When yes. it comes to matchups, you know, like, oh, it's 5-5, five, 6-4s. Five, this game has some 7-3s and 8-2s, if anything. Right? Maybe even some 9-1s. Who knows? You can see Earthstray really trying to figure out a safe way to get in around all of this Honda damage here. Yeah, you. the thing is, you can't get in when Honda has a life lead. Right. Because Honda just sits there. Yeah. Right? He literally just wants to sit there and just make you just make, like, kind of, mistakes. like, mistakes and, yeah. un, un, and these unnecessary risks. That, right. that you don't that you sh that you don't you shouldn't take because he's very good at countering those type of risks. But Earthstray is doing a really good job just poking away. Yeah, yeah. Just chill, poking away. Yeah, he's using that uh, crouching strong. Yep, crouching uh, strong. Trying to uh, interrupt the hands. Yeah, see, crouching strong. Sometimes you can just stop that. Like it's it's hard because hands actually beats like normals in this game, but he's out of range where he's just he's just whiff punishing them. Right. Nice. Oh, okay, that's it. Goes for the back throw. Yeah, okay, headbutt. great headbutt. Headbutt to anti-air. Yeah, great yeah. anti -air. Go for the mix. Ooh. Slide. Oh, Ocho throw back. Who? Hunter hand slap. Oh, no. Oh, stun. Oh, that's it. Uh. Kick on the stun, and that is going to work for Vodka. Second game and his favor. He hit, he hit him with the, with the sumo side throw. Mm -hmm. Okay. Earthstray, I guess. I mean, Earthstray, he did, he, we did see that he picked Boxer in the winner's bracket, but I guess, like, maybe he doesn't want to do Boxer versus Honda as well because it's also one of those, like, really, like, lame, lame matchups where, like, they both both characters can't really play once, once one is winning. Yeah. Okay, once again, a very uh, cautious, cautious game here for Earthstray. Yeah. 
Okay, trying to get the Barcelona mix up going there. Oh, okay, here we go. Arfshay looking good this round, though. Yeah, he doesn't want to commit uh, too incredibly much there, picking Honda away oh, slowly. No punish. Oh, there it is. And we have a round for Earthstray. Okay, counter. Ooh, nice oh, headbutt yeah. right there. Yeah, that was a good anti here. Ooh, nice. Nice reversal. Doesn't want to take the oh. doesn't want to take the Ocho throw. Yeah, cross up uh empty empty jump throw there. Ooh, jab jab. You just try to use the jab as as a bait, you know what I mean? And then use the hands afterwards. Nice headbutt. <laughs> oh, missed the wrong, pressed the wrong button. If you press stand strong, it would have worked. Here we go. Mix. Slide. That's a punish. Oh. Slide. Oh, doesn't oh. need it. Crouch strong. That is right. going to do it. You and know, Earth straight. Mm -hmm. He looked like he adapted. He did. So, but the question is, is it too late? Is it too late, maybe? Does he have a chance? We'll see. I mean, maybe Vodka might kind of, like, try something different. Maybe. We'll try to throw it out. He could, you know, towards the end of that, uh, uh, end of that second round there, you could definitely see Earth Straight uh, turning up the speed yeah. a little bit. But you know, going back, going back to this cat and mouse beginning of the match. Oh, there we go. Against, like you see, I think about Honda is like again, you you never want to stay in front of the wall with, with those uh, wall dash shenanigans because if you just stay in front, Ooh. Honda actually his reversal will, will win. Right. But if you go behind them, a whiff, and then you'll get a, a punish every single time. But it's a guess because, because like sometimes you want the mix, right? You right. want the mix. Oh, oh, ooh, okay, that's it. Where did, catch where did I with hit? But again. Oh my god, he he grab he tried to grab way too early. We are sitting on match point here for vodka. A little bit of a trade yep. on that Barcelona. Nice. Jump fierce, jump fierce. Ooh, go strong. Okay, Vega, Claw, putting some damage on Honda right now. He knows Honda has to come to him. He's going to play it very, uh, very safe right now. Mm. Barcelona is going to close it out. So we are tied one round apiece. Okay, let's see what's going to happen here. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, Vodka is on match point, by the way. Right? He wants to move on, try to get this top eight. This is a tough pool. I would say this is like a death pool for sure. It is. Yeah. It really is. Yeah, so many good people in this uh, Super Turbo Tournament. Oh, oh nice. man, that's it. You oh, can see Zuma drop. Earth, yeah, it's not going to cross up either, so it's good. Just take the take the easy chip damage, right? Mm -hmm. Earth Stray has a huge life lead right now. Look at that. Huge life lead. Goes to the back. Yep. He's plus. Yeah, just throw it out. Sky High Claw, maybe? Yep. Right. Oh, we whiffed it, though. Uh oh, we got a guess. No. Oh, that's it. Back throw is going to do it. And that does mean Earth Stray is going to be getting two games. We are tied 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, 2-2. Two, two. He's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. He's like, man, this is tough. Earth Stray did adapt. He adapted that at the right time that he needed. All right, back to Pink Honda. That's right. Okay, Honda is locked in. We are two to two here in this loser's bracket. Yeah, I think the one thing that's that's probably Vaka's giving away, he's just giving away too much damage, which is kind of doing 100 hand slaps in neutral, right? Especially the jab hands, because Earthstray is just whiff punishing those, right? right. Whiff crotch, medium punch, just waiting, picking, see, picking perfect opportunities to get those nice clean hits against that. So he just needs to stop doing that, just walk him down, Wait, wait for the wall dive, and just kind of like use a jump jab, jump strong, normal to counter that. Right, play it, play it simple. That's the most important part. Gets the command grab. That's it. Got the hundred hand slap. Ooh, Ooh nice. that's it. The splash. That was Gonna hard, catch you. Yeah, that was a hard read because if he blocked that, it, the second hit would have whipped, and then Vega would have got the punish from that situation. Oh wow. So that that was a hard read. Okay, a little bit of a trade up in the air there. Yep, yep. For Vega. Okay, uh-uh. Honda does have access to the Super right now. Yeah, just run away. Yeah. Vega playing very, very uh, patiently, a little patient neutral game right now on the ground. Oh, a little nice. bit of uh, Barcelona's for uh, a little bit of movement and frustration. Dude, but yeah, Vodka's looking good right now. Bro, chat, I think Vodka's going to pop off. For some reason, I just feel the pop off, the energy. <laughs> like, it's, just, it's just coming. Okay. Okay, closing oh, the here we go. gap with the slide, but that is it. Command grab, uh, and going to do it. Yeah, he, he, he did the Alex Valle. 
awesome stuff there, Vodka, getting the win with Honda. He did the bye. <laughs> the fist bump in the air, he did the bye. Go ahead. He, he, he did the. Okay, <laughs> Vodka will be moving further oh, I think into Loser's uh, Oh, I think it's. Is it Boss? Yo, oh, yes, that's right, yeah. All right, Boss versus Vodka. Vodka. We're going to see what's going to happen here. Well, we just saw Vodka's Honda, but there's a big chance he's going to be switching to Zangief. He's not going to pick Honda. No way. Yeah. No yeah. way he's picking Honda in this matchup. One, yep, see? No way. Right. Uh -huh. So I think I'm pretty sure after this match, mm -hmm. uh, we will see Sonosco versus J Punk for winner's finals. Mm -hmm. uh, loser of that will fight the winner of this matchup, and then that will determine who's our top eight. Very nice. Yeah, yeah. So right now, winner's semifinals. In oh, top eight, we have C Vital. Whoever wins this pool will fight C Vital um, for, for ST top eight. Okudo versus True Mav, X64, mm -hmm. and losers from Eric Turbo and Carlitos from Texas in top eight losers. All right, straight into the action here. First uh, attack here by Boss. Yep, yep. So this is this is like a, this is kind of like a cat and mouse, like a Tom and Jerry situation right here. Um, Zangief's trying to get in. Yes. Right. Tom is trying to catch Jerry right now. That's what <laughs> it comes down to. Right. He's he's, he's getting he's pushing oh. him, but nope. Now we're back back into the middle. That DP really did help. Yep. And against like Larry, like kind of like just. Uh, psychic lariats, I yes. would say. Uh, you can counter that. Like, you, can, you don't need to let him just throw that out for free. A lot of times people think, oh, yeah, look, how am I supposed to attack that? If I press a high normal, I just get smoke. Well, the thing is, if you wait after a specific amount of frames, low tight, like your fireballs will, will beat the lariat. Jumping normals that has good ranges will be, will hit the top of the head of Zangief as well, too. Yeah. Nice. See, look, look at the time. Oh, that's it. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Two seconds left on the clock, and that round is going to go over to boss. Okay, nice sweep right there. Very active sweep. Yeah, Tiger, look at that. Look at that low Tiger right, shot. Right, just at the end of the Lariat. Yeah, just yes. the end of the Lariat. It's not safe. It looks safe, but it's not. Oh, see, that's the Ooh. little trick. The little jab, with the with little jab jump. You Ooh. see again. There you go. Two strong jump-ins. Oh, yeah, watch out. with the sweep there for Zangief. Nice. Oh, that's SPD. Oh. Not dead. That's right. Not, he's not going to get. Oh, he, he got was active. Oh, trying to go for the splash, and that is going to be it. We're tying it round for round. Yeah, that's actually very hard to anti-air in that situation because he did early splash. So if he did DP, it would have traded, and uh. Zangief would have won. Okay. okay. A little bit of neutral game here. Yeah, you see that jump round. It's hitting the top of Zangief's right. mohawk right here. Oh. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, good two-hit combo. In. Ooh! Ooh! And the stun. What's it going to uh, be? Oh! Great. Strong three hits. And... Stop looking at me, Vodka. <laughs> Vodka. That's why I'm back here. I'm not trying to play you. <laughs> I'm staying back here because I don't want to play you. Okay, we've got Vodka up one game. Boss. Trying to catch up. Oh, okay. Nice, nice sweep right there. Yeah, you see, if you throw too fast, it just goes through, right? Right. You usually want to, like, throw the slow fireballs. Okay, Scott. So uh, doing a little bit of a shimmying, walking back and forth motion it's there. It's good, though, because he w walked into the corner. Right. Nice. Oh, there we go, SPD. And uh, Sagat down to his last... Fourth of life. Yeah, stand beam kick is definitely the, the better option right now. Ooh, oh, here we go. Stun. stun. Wow. What? He went for the sweep. No, that was the wrong punish. That was wrong. Oh. Wow. Last bit of that lariat slices it out. Yeah, psychic like lariat. I don't know what that tiger knee was about. I think maybe that was an accidental input, in my opinion, because he probably tried to walk forward into, into tiger shot, and then uh. he just got that to come out instead. One more fireball yeah. stun. Oh, no. Nice, nice. You know, nice and just lariat. like you were saying, uh, the lariats, when and when you do the tiger shot and your hurt box is yeah. extended, uh, the trades, the trades are pretty difficult right it is. now. It is. 
And that's why you saw Vodka didn't approach nothing because he was just using standing medium kick to hit the, the startle of Sagat's fire because Sagat's going to throw his hands out yeah. and standing medium kick will hit. And he's down for those trades because at that point, it's just all about just risk and reward in that situation. So we are at two nice. for Vodka. Boss zero. Okay, nice, yep. No, okay, no. Good air to air. You gotta, you gotta Four wait. Yeah, you gotta wait. Yeah, using the green hand to nullify the projectiles. It's such a bad move in this game too, but you, like you can make it useful in a little situation, but it doesn't really give you anything. Nice. Okay, Ooh, great nice, jump nice. in and jump Ooh. back there. Nice mix up that was by great, boss. Yeah, that was a great DP. Avaka had no choice but to jump in that situation. Yes. Nice. Good fireball. Uh, yeah, don't don't press any standing normals. You, you, you will get snuffed by psychic lariats all day. Oh, nice. Oh, could have got, right. got a Catch combo. Green hand. Yeah. yeah, he could have got a full combo right there. No, that's never been a combo, I think, in that situation. Very hard at least. Nice DP, oh, yeah. Like okay. I said, you just wait, wait for him to whip those. See, that's like the they think they got the secret jump, but if you uh oh, Ooh, there you go, Here man. Go. Empty jump, uh, SPD. Oh, he's holding up. Ooh, keeping that pressure on up. with the green hand, but yeah. that is it. Yeah. Boss gets that game. Yeah, one two. He was mm. scared of that 720. <laughs> he was scared, petrified. That's right. You better believe Vodka's probably turning that butter in there. Like, oh, yeah, he. I that. think. Yeah, he. The get reason why he didn't get that 720, he did a 680 instead. <laughs> nice. Okay, Sankey for really keeping uh, the pressure up uh, on Sagat oh there no. right now, pushing him into the corner. Oh no. Oh, uh, stun. Ooh, Not stun. stun. Over in. overhead. Magic pixel of life yeah. is left. Yeah, he can't do anything, you see? The same medium kick. Even if he tried to throw a fireball, the same medium kick would have been Sagat there. Mm -hmm. Alright, match point for Vodka. Okay. Using the Lariat. Ooh, here we go. Oh, nice sweep right there. Oh, this is uh, oh, the beginning be of that uppercut oh there. Oh my god, one more hit. Don't get hit by it. Don't get hit by it. Okay, he's good. Recover. Nice. That was so such a good that was a good stare down. Okay, you can see Vodka patiently yep. trying to work his way in. Great anti-air with a tiger upper for boss. Yep. Yeah, low tiger shots all day. Just wait it out. Wait for the jump. You know he's jumping. You know he's going to want to jump. He's gonna, uh oh, no, that's bad. Oh, man, with the Ooh. knockdown. And that is it. A jump back. Medium kick once again. Boss is going to tie this. Yeah, yeah. He's trying, staying alive. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. I stand medium kick. They, it does so much damage compared to the Tiger Shots. Hey, it's nice. Vodka's playing that good neutral right now. Yes. Okay, no risk at the moment because he doesn't need to take risk at the moment because he has the life lead. Yeah, kill, kill the anti in that situation. Nice, yeah, good trades. See those trades? They do. He does more damage than 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 him. Right. right Zangief just gets more reward. Just a little bit, maybe like three percent more. Look at that, three percent more damage every time. Stamina him big all day. Yeah, you, boss needs to react with tiger shots when you see him when he sees him do a lariat like that. Okay, boss in a really trick position right now yeah, he, with the he, two pixel of life. 20 seconds are left on the clock, and yeah. Zangief trying to safely oh, work his way in, getting picked oh, away. Oh, that, that was, is going to be it. Yeah, see, that tiger knee was not a tiger knee. I guarantee that was a fireball. I guarantee that was a fireball. But Stan Beam Kick would have won anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Stan Beam Kick would have won anyway. Stop, <laughs> stop. I am a commentator. I am a commentator. I am not a player. I am not sitting over there. Leave me alone, the bully. Avaka does take it. Shout out to Avaka right there. All right, and then now, and then now he's going to be waiting uh, for whoever loses between right. Silent Scope and J. Pong. Very tense match, especially that last round. Boss doing such a great job keeping Zangief out. Yep, yep. And then the last thing, you know, that huge damage that Zangief does and the trades, just like you said. Yeah, the trades are just amazing. Oh, here we go. All right, Silent Scope versus Jay Pong. Yeah, we're going to have, uh, I believe, two more matches. Uh, I don't know what's after this, actually. I'm not sure. Uh, Spiral Arrow. Maybe top eight is today? It's tomorrow? Okay, never mind. Uh, 
I think there's something else today. Oh, Marvel 2 maybe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But they probably have to set it up and everything. I like that's a That's a nice. It is. They put, drew it. Yeah. Texas. Texas. Put that graphic back on. I like that graphic. Let me look at the graphic again. Yeah, big shout out to Texas Shot Taker. Right, look at that graphic. Look at that look, cute, yeah. cute, cute dog right there. Like, oh, you see that? Look yeah. at that. They got, they got the shirts. They got the, the merch shirts? on deck. Very Make sure, nice. guys, you give the follow and subscribe to Texas Shot Takers. You know what I mean? Jay Pong, focus on your match. Don't look at me. <laughs> All right. All right, we got Vice versus Cammy right now. Nice. Uh, go for the grab. That's right. Great throw break there for Silent Scope. Yeah, it doesn't look like, doesn't look like Cammy might not get a punish right there. Yeah, see, Jab Side Crusher is very, very safe. Very safe. Now use the super to get away. Easy chip damage because Bison could get another meter uh, mm -hmm. based on how he spends it. We we'll do another side crush to get out of the situation. You see, it's that's just, right. It's very slippery there. Yeah, you know, very slippery. Yeah, Jay Pong really, uh, really increasing that neutral distance no. uh, between no, no, him and Cammy. There, that's oh, it. No, he went in. Nice grab. That back throw is going to. Give that round yeah. to Jay Pond. I, I think maybe Bison might have the throw priority uh, in, in, in this Cammy. matchup. So I'm not sure. Maybe the chat can correct me. But I, I do remember that Bison just scoops me a lot. Cammy trying to find a safe way to get in right now. Gets caught with that psycho pressure. Ooh, nice. Cross Stop. a combo. Oh, nice. Oh, drops the goodness. combo. He was not confident. <laughs> too, too, he, he drank too much of the juice. Okay, there you go with the hooligan. Grab, okay, uh, uh, go with the uh, cross up once again. Wake up oh. super, wow. Great, great reversal. Reversals aren't easy in this game, so that was that was a great reversal. Because I believe if Sansko did that stand fierce and went through, he probably went for what would have went for a hooligan trap right there. Mm -hmm. uh, just because since Bison does not have a dragon punch, it's probably harder for him to, to stop hooligan shenanigans. Right. Okay, a little bit of a trade on the ground. Nice cannon spike. You see? Yeah. Boom. Maybe do it again. I would just keep looping it until some, until he shows me counter it. There we go with the back throw. Bison now in the corner. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, this oh. is normal. Nice stand strong. Spiral yeah, cannon spike. Super. For chip damage. Yeah. Very good. And the super is going to close it out for silent scope. We are going to have a round on the board for Cammy. Yeah, Spiral right there. I wonder if you can counter it. I'm really curious. Maybe Silent Scope is pressing Stan Fierce. Uh, maybe he's trying to do Hooligan in that situation to try to catch him. Not as a punish, but more of like a setup afterwards, possibly. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Try to catch him. Yeah, he, Silent Scope's one of those players that really likes to lab out these like weird scenarios and situations. So I wouldn't be surprised if he, if he had an answer to it. Like it? Ooh. Yep. Hooligan traps all day. It's press damage. A, yeah, press a button into a hooligan. That is the way to go. And that is going to tie it. One game apiece. Silent Scope versus J Pong. And this is, of course, to see who's going to make it to top eight. Yeah, and then who would be playing against Vodka. Vodka, yeah. right. I think Vodka probably would want to fight Silent Scope. Probably. No, he doesn't want to fight Silent Scope. <laughs> he wants, oh, okay. Never mind, he wants to fight against Slippery Bison. <laughs> oh, nice stun oh. combo. Yeah. Oh, you see, he's doing the combo trial mode. <laughs> Subscribe to Silent Scope YouTube right now. <laughs> okay, nice. Oh, good scissor kick to Ender right there. Uh, you know what uh, I'm seeing? A lot of neutral buttons hitting because he's trying to stop the startup of the hooligan. Yeah, it's it's hard. Like especially with when you press a a button that gives you lots of frame advantage, mm -hmm. you don't have those opportunities to press those buttons to stop the hooligan. Hooligan right. is Cammy's like tool, Numero uno. tool to really just use in this match. If she didn't have hooligan, she would actually Ooh. be unplayable. Silent Scope going up two zero. Wow. Two zero. Go no, two one. One two, one. one. Yeah. yeah. Man, Silent Scope, one more game to top eight. j Pong, you know, trying to slow down Kami's momentum with uh, some of those neutral jabs, uh, light kicks. Yeah. Medium, mediums there. Oh, nice, stand jab. Yeah. yeah, a lot of times stand jab do, does beat a lot of those expansion moves like Blanca Ball, Honda Headbutt, Jab, uh, Side Crusher as well too. Yeah. Nice. Oh man, catches uh, the end of that uh, scissors once again. Ooh! Good air throw, quick Get reactions. Down. Awesome stuff for Silent Scope. 
sitting on match point. Yep, yep, can be. That jump light kick was strong. Ha <laughs> 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 Oh, here Ooh, we go. Back throw. Uh, what? Ooh, jump here here we go. Also? Oh, nice. Missing, missing the normals, missing everything right now. Okay, let's see. Silent Scope's one, one round away. J Pong needs to make something happen right here. Nice chip damage. Nice knockdown. Go for the mix. Yep. Nice block right. as well, too. Here Again we with the mix. Ooh. Ooh! Fantastic stuff there for J Pong. Grabbing that round. So we are tied one round apiece. Yeah, yeah. Hit him with the knees. Yeah, so there's a kick. Safe on block. I feel like at this point, J Pong's playing a little bit more uh, aggressively. I mean, he is. He's feeling it. Oh, but the hooligan, oh. knock him down. Nice, grab back. Yep, a little bit of a throw break there. Oh, what? Oh, man. What did you step? The, sh the socks? <laughs> nice super. Oh, man, catches the very uh, tail end of that super oh, there. What? That's crazy. Double reverse didn't hit him. Ooh, the double reverse didn't even hit him. him. J-Pong stays alive. People are cheering in the background. This is Texas <laughs> versus SoCal right now. Two to two. All right, we are readied up, and the winner of this goes to top eight winners. Okay. We are tied. Now, look at that. Look how, how, how high the head stomp is. Yep, look at that. Cam and punish that. Nice. Oh, catches oh. the tail end yeah. of that Psycho Crusher. Yeah, Bison definitely has a more bigger grab range. Nice. Hell Quick. attack. Yeah. Yeah, doesn't get. Yeah, that's the three-hit combo. Oh, tries to go for meaty. Mash grab wins. Mash grab wins again. Mash grab wins again. Man, great throw mix up there for Jay Pong sitting on match point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jay Pong match point. What a turnaround too, right? He was down. Yes. Uh, uh, uh. Nice block, block. Oh, grab again. Just keep. Ooh, reversal attack. One thousand. Okay, South Crusher. Got to guess again. No, no. He was crouching. Okay. Okay. Uh oh. The momentum. Oh, and Jay Pong that is does it. Be it. Jay Pong oh. grabs it. Jay Pong. With the pop off. Yeah. And then the prey. <laughs> With the pop off and the prey. <laughs> <laughs> awesome win there for Jay Pong, making his way into top eight. Silent Scope will be playing against Vodka right now yeah, yeah. to Va secure uh, top eight losers. I mean, I, yeah. Maybe maybe Silent Scope needs to take a little break. You know what I mean? He should, he should take a little walk around, <laughs> make a little loop. Because who wants to play right after they lose? Right, right. Who wants to play right after they lose? Look, then he has to think about it. Watch, he put on a YouTube video real fast. <laughs> Watch an eight-minute YouTube video, 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 right. video fast right now. I think we lost the sound. Did we lose the sound? Um, yeah, po yeah. Oh, no, oh here we go. Yeah, we we good. Oh, look, we got the winner's semifinals bracket up for oh, C Vital versus J Pong. Mm -hmm. Uh, Okudo. Okudo versus True Mav, X64 versus the winner of this match, mm -hmm. and Eric Turbo versus Carlitos from Texas. And actually, you know what? Tell us a little bit about bringing Hokuto over and your experiences with all this. Um, so I know Hokuto because I see him do very well in like Wednesday night, Wednesday night fights, all the retro online tournaments during the pandemic. You know, I, I talked to him. I was like, you know, like I, you probably played these games for a long time, but I only know of you more because. There are so much more retro tournaments during the pandemic, and you're just cooking all of them, right? Yeah. And then, you know, I was like, is there like, you know, he wants to go to this tournament, but he can't afford it. I was like, well, I got you. You know what I mean? I want you to, to show your skills more, play against some of the best players in the world, because, you know, people will say oh, online is online. But, I mean, he, look, he's in winner's side. Yes, he's all doing fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just like giving people opportunities. But yeah. if, I think, if I think you're nasty at the game, Maybe I'll fly you off for a turn. That's wonderful. I'm sure he's having a great time, too, and he did fantastically. All right, well, here we go. This is going to be uh, losers here. Who is going to make uh. it into that top eight on loser side? Silent Scope versus Vodka. Yeah, Vodka, yeah, Vodka takes the, the first round. Um, and, you know, maybe this is this is actually an advantage of Vodka because Silent Scope did just lose. Right. right. Oh, here we go. Uh, -huh. nice cannon spike right there. Cannon spike again. I don't think Zane could punish the cannon spike, huh? No, you know, it seems like she always lands just out of range there. Oh, that's it. Trying to go for that Siberian Express. Cammy snuffs it out. Ooh, Crouch Fierce. Low, low medium kick. He's playing the wrong game because that's a CBS2 combo right there. <laughs> 
Okay. And Vodka trying to find a safe way to get in on Cameron right now. Goes for that hooligan grab. Nice. Crouch medium kick. Crouch medium kick again. They are pressing these these far range buttons. Right. Scope. That was a good comeback because he did lose the first round, but then he, it looked like he kept he got his composure back, right? He just needs one more. Ooh, he was ready. Nice. The Zangief right. tricks don't work anymore, man. <laughs> the jump, the jump with with normal jump. Great anti-air there for Silent Scope. Gets him the first game. Okay, Vodka sticking with Zangief. Yeah, he did a great job with uh, with Honda yeah, yeah. earlier, too. I think Honda actually probably would do better in this matchup, for sure. Uh, but maybe Vodka's like, his Honda was only only season for Vega. Maybe. Right? Only maybe. season for, for, for Claw. Okay, Kimmy doing a great job, you know, just zoning Zangief out right now. Not giving uh, Vodka uh, many opportunities yeah. to try to get access. Wow, wake, wake up spin knuckle. Uh, and the jump, can of spike. Yeah, damn. Yeah, that looks safe. That looks safe on block against Zangief. Yeah, it's good. Okay, a little bit of neutral play here. Zangief yeah. really trying to make some contact with that uh, neutral medium kick. Yep. Mm, that crouch medium kick. Cool again. I command grab you. Can of spike. Look at it. He is playing this like textbook. One more hit, he's going to do super. Okay, here we go. Oh, Crouch that, Fierce, the way it ended the first round, deja vu. And that is going to mean Silent Scope up to Vodka. Is it time for a counter pick? Is it time for a Honda, maybe? No, Zangief nope, all sticking, the way. That's right, sticking with Zangief. Sticking true to the character. <laughs> right, Silent Scope up 2-0 right now. This could potentially be the last match of ST for this pool. Okay, the hooligan's going to start the damage off. Nice, nice trading right here. But Cammy's just winning all these trades, right? Because she's, right. she's even though it's trading, sometimes the, tr the trade doesn't happen, and Cammy just wins like the, the neutral in those situations, right? Mm -hmm. And she gets the cannon spike chip damage, guaranteed chip damage, because then you cannot get guaranteed chip damage at all. Yeah, right, right. Okay, Silent Scope is sitting on match point right now. Yep, yep. Nice spiral. Misses the whiff punish, whiff sweep. Tries to go for the neutral jump spiral and look at the hard knockdown. Go for the go for the block damage right there. And building some bar in the process while using these normals on block. Yeah, Kato with spiral arrow right again. Yeah, this looks like a terrible matchup. This looks like 8-2. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Okay, trying to jump yeah, forward there. The fact that she could just spam DP after he blocks something is crazy. Right. Because Zangi can't look at Zangi can't do anything. No, yeah, you can't oh, punish GGs. that. And that is going to be it. Yeah, that's going to be it. Even if that didn't kill, right? He could have super, meaty super, and then that would have chipped him out regardless. So easily set play situation from Silent Scope. Great recovery from, you know, after losing that close set from Winners Finals. And then so, so still solidifying that top eight spot. But in the loser bracket side, right? Um, I believe we just finished pools. And we have our top eight, right? Who do we have in the winners? That's going to be C. Vital versus J. Pawn. And then Hakuto. Uh, brought over by J1 Sponsorship versus True Mob. And then we got uh, Carlitos from Texas versus Eric Turbo. And then we have X64 versus Silent Scope. Um, X64, I believe he is the Zangief player Ooh. that actually is on Smug's channel a lot and also my channel a lot. And we just get smoked by a Zangief. Oh, wow. Uh, okay. So I, I think that that's really cool that he came out and, I mean, it's a Zangi versus a Silent Scope, but we just saw, so maybe we, that it might be another deja vu that we'll see. Maybe right. the 64 knows a bit more. But that is our top eight for Super Turbo. I don't know what's next. What's next? Is it Marvel 2? Is Marvel 2 next here? Yeah, yeah Marvel, Marvel 2, 2 is next here. We're going to have new commentators. I believe uh, Neo, Golden Boy Neo might be commentating. Nice. That's cool. his job. I know that's his job, is commentating some Marvel. But, you know, it was awesome commentating with Kujo It was Kate. great commentating with you, yeah, too. Yeah. Where are you going to be? Pat throughout the day here. Are you going to be competing or doing anything else? I, I got a, I got my booth. Very nice. I, yeah, uh, yeah. I got, I got my booth. How about you? you? Are you commentating more games? Uh, no, I'm actually. This was it. It's I'm done. done for the day. Yeah. How about, yeah. How about tomorrow? Um, I'm hey. going to be helping with uh, the Street Fighter Five okay. finals. So okay. that's going to be at 11 o'clock. Yeah. Yes. All right. That's cool. Yeah. I'll be commentating CVS2 Top Eight tomorrow. Nice. I don't know how that's going to work because. 
I'm in top eight. Oh, very good. Um, you know, Texas, Texas. I, I, can I commentate my own matches while I'm playing in CVS 2? Oh, my uh, goodness. Tonight you can. Cool. No, tomorrow. But tomorrow. I'm in top uh, eight, and I'm commentating. Tomorrow HXC is doing. Me too. No, no, HXC is streaming. Top oh, eight. you're going to be in the main yeah. ballroom. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try. I want to try commentate my matches while I'm playing. That's gonna be cool. You know, do, do, <laughs> yeah. the, do the Bronson Tran style. You know, I don't know who knows. I mean, that'd be pretty neat. Yeah, yeah. They, 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 might, they might let you. They were like, yeah, come. You we've know, we've they, done it before. That's yeah. I, I hope so. I hope so. We'll see. <laughs> but other than Super that, cool. you know, big shout outs to to everybody here. Big shout out to Texas Showdown. Big shout outs to Texas Shot Takers for just yes. putting on an amazing stream. And like I said. Don't go away yet. We have lots of more actions. They're going to be setting up some Marvelous Cat Comp 2 for you. And we got some of the best players in the business in this tournament. But other than that, Kujo Kate, Justin Wong, we're out. Peace. Bye.